Quest fans, um, we are live on Twitch. We're not live on YouTube. Shout out to Carl Casey at White Bat Audio for the music. We're playing the Frozen Horror, and we've got Jacer, who is controlling four heroes, and then we've got Count Cogpox for the first time. I mean, he's a frequent lurker, first time hero player, is taking control of the wizard uh, slash alchemist. Unless you want to take more than one hero. I'm not, I don't think I'm man enough to handle more than one. <laughs> this character sheet alone has, has me busy right now. Well, and, and you were saying... You know uh, what, that's the biggest problem, is that they all have so many things that i got to read through <laughs> half a page to see who's got what and what I can use. See, everybody that says, oh, this is just a, a simple game for 10-year-olds, it's like, it, it does get fairly complex. I mean, even without all our house rules and stuff, you would have lots of stuff to manage. So it's kind of like everybody's a wizard at a certain point. I mean, you pick the barbarian because you think, ah, oh, this is easy. All he does is roll dice to fight. That's all he's got to do. It's like, well, even he is has a list. They've all got lists of things. Well, Hello. all right. So uh, Zargon's turn. Uh, I had the ability to draw one of my evil cards here. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and play this card. Creeping Darkness. So, no hero or mercenary may cast spells or use spell scrolls during the next round. A strange darkness prevents you from using magic. So, now it's the barbarian. So, the barbarian's right here, there. All right, that's probably a little easier to see. What do you think, Jacer? You've got a yeah, uh, closed door here. Now, the, the wizard does have the crystal key, which would be needed uh, once you go to the spiral staircase. Which would be... Gonna have him, gonna have him open the door. Okay. All right, so we're opening the door, revealing everything inside. And of course, all you lurking in the Twitch chat, watching Twitch live, twitch.tv slash HeroQuest fans, you can use your gold coin to influence the quest as we play. Okay, so you see a number of things. There is an icy tunnel in the corner. There's also several monsters. And I do mean several monsters. So we've got six goblins. You wondered where they all were. Well, now you know. And there's six orcs as well. All right. That's all you see. Okay. Two, there's, they're like oh, that's it? Three squares in that room. Yeah, that are open. That's it, Saruman. That's all you can conjure. Okay. All right. Uh... I'd go and uh actually he's gonna just attack diagonally. Oh. Strike at that first goblin there. Yeah, might as well. Okay. 
So Molly the Murderess, the Great Sword, two black, two white. For speed against the goblin, I'm just gonna roll four white. <laughs> I just need to adjust my streamer mode here. Alright. He's dead. No way he could have taken that. Gave, gave him the double tap. And then he's going to attempt to jump the space next. Yeah, you know what? He's not even going to attempt to jump. He's going to walk to the right one and down one. Okay, so far okay. so good. All right. And where's the rogue at? The rogue is right here. Um, blow the door. Blow the door. Yeah, if I move one space to the left, can I start chucking daggers in there? Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, no, not up to the left. Oh, to the left. Yeah. Would I be able to see yeah. two different enemies? Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, can you see two different enemies? Let's see. <laughs> can see at least one you see that one all right yeah. but if i kill that one if i kill that one i'd be able to see the one behind it yes you would yes you would okay and let's try it for the first goblin there that i can see oh yeah. I do get my defense. Oh, you know, I didn't check to see if these were elites or not. I forgot to do that. Okay, so hold that thought. So you got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, none of those. He wasn't either, and then six. Yeah, no elites. Okay. Okay, he's rolling his defense. Not quite. <laughs> Alright, he's gonna chuck the next dagger. And missed. Alright. And I believe the alchemist is up. Count Cogbox, so you're right there. And, and I got, what is this, the knight to my uh, northeast there? Yeah, that's the knight. And the elf is behind you. Okay, I think I am going to... Am I the... How many of these characters can attack diagonally? Uh, none of those monsters can attack diagonally. Okay. Uh, all of the characters, I mean. Oh, the hero? Let's see. I think just about everybody can. The knight's got a fort it's got fortune's longsword, the elf has long sword, you've got the alchemist staff, the rogue has a long sword, barbarian has the great sword. So yeah, everybody. And is it um you can attack and move or move and attack, but you can't break it? Is that how it works? Exactly, yeah. Okay. Every turn just has movement and action, you can't move part way, do your action, and then move the rest of the way. But potions, drinking potions, are not considered an action, so you can do it any time. Just like opening a door or picking something up. And then, uh, what are the uh, hit points of those goblins and the orcs? All of them just have one body point each. They're just the orcs. standard okay. monsters. Yeah. Yep. Okay, I'm going to Hit this orc straight in front of me with a sling. Okay. It's one one. Uh, white die, correct? Yep. So you let fly with the stone. It's a skull, okay. Orc defends. No defense. 
right between the eyes. That's what he gets. Yep. All right, and then I'm going to move down um, diagonally next to the road southeast of me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Since you were only moving two, I didn't make you roll. You would have gotten at least two. Oh, wait, that's good. I mean, would I have gotten? I only have one dice, don't I? Uh, well, no. Yeah, uh, no, the, the elf's the one with the the plate mail. Yeah. The barbarian and the elf are only rolling one combat die for, I mean, one movement die. Okay, Everybody but I get has two, so, yeah, you're okay. guaranteed to get at least two. We use the unthreatened movement when there's no monsters on the board, but that's the only other time. So, Which is you can move your maximum. Yeah. Where's per? Okay. But actually, the elf I was thinking can always move six because he's got the uh, potion of elven speed, or celerity as they call it in the new expansion. And he can do two attacks per turn, so it's pretty powerful. Okay. Yes. All right. So I moved you into position. Is that all you're gonna? Well. I guess that's all you're going to do, right? All I can do, right? I think so, yeah. yeah. No potions. Uh, okay. All right. Now it's time oh, for I had one more question. The uh, bracers, um, is that the one green die I have and the alchemist cloak is three white? Or is it the other uh, one? No, the alchemist cloak is the one green die. Okay. And the bracers? Yeah. So quick, quick explanation. So all the heroes have a base defense of two. And then when you add armor to that, that just adds on. So the alchemist so cloak adds one green. The bracers adds one white. Okay, so the total's three, three white. White, three. okay. Total four, yep. Okay, all right, so the elf. Uh, let's see. Or, yeah, yeah, the elf. All right, two spaces forward, and he's just going to start blasting the orcs in front of him. Okay. With the crossbow. Yep. He gets two attacks per turn. The first attack, two skulls. Who's he targeting? The, the orc in front of him. Okay. This Figured, but I had to ask. Yeah, yeah. And if that one dies, he'll target the one behind it for the second shot. Clear him out pretty easily. All right, second okay. shot. It's like having sustained fire. Oh, he missed. He missed. Okay. All right. Um, now the knight. Where, where? Okay, knight's up top. Uh, one down and one to the right, and he's going to attack the orc that's diagonal in front of the barbarian. All right. One. Got him. All right. A little bit of room to work. Make them charge us. Your turn. You got monsters on the board. Monsters on the board. Still got a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Orc uh, attacks the barbarian. One skull. Two shields. Ching. Okay, orc attacks the knight. Two skulls. Again. It's 
uh, green, right? One green die? Uh, yes, one green, five white. All right, two shields. And I'll copy that for the next attack. Edit, you know, copy text. All right, two skulls against the knight. Two shields. All right, goblin fodder. <laughs> <laughs> Just checking. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna just go. I'm done. Go for it. All right, you're up with the barbarian. Okay. He's gonna attack the orc. One skull. Ching. One defense. He's blocked it. All right. Oh. Okay. He is going to move his minimum of three spaces to go above the elf. Okay, so he's back in the orange room. All right, and then the rogue. I think we got some blocked in the chat, so call out to Polky if he's if he's around. He's going to roll for movement. All two d six. He got a five. Two, three, four. He's going to go to where the barbarian was. Okay. And he's going to attack the orc in front of, or to the right of the knight. Okay. The so he can roll all. four eyes. One skull. Nothing. Right. Whee. That brings us back to the alchemist. All right. Count. Gosh, I hate to not. I can't, uh, so I can't use my sling to shoot through my own teammate, correct? Nope. Unless you're trying an uncommon feat, which if you fail, you're going to hit him. Is how I would do it. 50% chance of success. What's an uncommon feat? What are my choices? I saw there was... Oh, yeah. So the uncommon feat is a house rule we use where you'll propose something that would be maybe not part of the rules, but something plausible in the world. And if I approve it, I'll let you roll one combat die and if you get a skull then whatever you were saying happens if you fail it there may be either nothing will happen or something bad will happen so okay, and the original, be, yeah, you fire it over his head so the white die is originally is it three skulls two white shield one black shield it's the original right. die okay. yeah so it would be a 50% chance of success with that and then so failure depends on 
Sargon, but it, like a white shield could be nothing, and a black shield could be that yeah, you hit the hit the uh, knight in the back of the head, and he didn't defend it. The critical, you know what I mean? Okay, yeah. Okay, I like that's kind of a good like or maybe with adaptation. The white shield, I would be able to defend it or something. You know what I mean? But it's whatever, whatever the DM I, decides. Yeah, that's cool. I like that rule. Um, that being said, I think has this room been searched for treasure traps, all that business? I assume this room. That we're in right now. Yeah, the, yeah. the wizard. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the uh, the treasure chest had a trap on it, which was disarmed. And then they found the crystal key inside and a potion of healing. And, uh, well, I believe that was the alchemist that got the key. It's holding the key and got that potion of healing. Okay. I just forgot to write down what uh, that is a plus four. But I did that now, so... And then that um, now, the white hit in the corner of the room is what's that? This thing is the uh, secret door. Oh, uh, sorry, the other room with the goblins behind the goblins. Oh, that, that yeah. is an ice tunnel. So when you go okay, through it, it like ends fun. your turn, but it takes you to wherever the other ice tunnel is. Okay. So somewhere so we don't know that until we jump. In. There's going to be another one of these, and wherever that is, you you go through it. Okay. Okay. For this turn, I think I'm going to stay exactly where I'm at. <laughs> now, let me, let me just tell you, you've already searched the room for treasure, but that doesn't mean that everybody else has. I mean, everybody else would just get a a uh, treasure card. I will say, though, that I did I did notice, and I'm not going to say where, but in Rise of the Dread Moon, there is an instance where, at least one, where the second hero to search for treasure finds X. <laughs> Which I thought was really, nice. yeah, it's because, written specifically yep, into the yep. quest. Okay, normally it's wow. like, oh, just the first one that gets the special thing, and everybody else just gets a card, or there's no no note, and everybody gets a card. But it's like the second, <laughs> it's like, ah, it's the first time I've seen that. You guys allow um, searching for individual furniture items, or it's just one shot per room searches everything. I just say you search everything, right? Okay, like how the original was. I know some people mod that. Yeah. Well, so. actually, in the draft notes, and Jacer will find this out. It, they were toying with that idea. They probably, I mean, you could just say, wow, but that would take, like, really long. Right. That's why I like this modification that just came out with the alchemist table where you can make potions. It's like, well, what if the dwarf gets some special interaction with the weapon rack and the, you know, warlock has a special interaction with the the torture rack or something the bar, you know there's you no know, he he gets to toast a marshmallow over the fire he gets yeah get the mind point back i mean who's to say right there's ever a fire and no monsters in the room yeah he, maybe he can heal if everyone rolls yep. maybe get a point of life or something yeah i mean that'd be neat yep. it's like the barbarian he sees a bookcase he he loses a mind point because he sees books and they make him angry <laughs> kidding i'll pass on my yeah i'll pass i'll let you guys go very intelligent Or is that a bad move, Ace? What do you think? Do I? Did, did uh, in... You're just not wanting to put yourself in danger by actually going into the room. Well, I'm looking at it, and it's like I could easily run into that corner, but I could be surrounded by three orcs, which is not a great scenario for the wizard. Yeah, I'd, with with what we got left, I'd stay where you're at, because I mean the knight's already there, so you're still protected with the doorway. Right. I can diagonally attack if, if we were to shuffle around. But uh, I'm trying to play it a little cautious and feel it, because I, like I said, I've only read that this is a route. Hey, Simpletron 2000. Yes, we are. So, uh, the link is posted on the screen, but if you can't be bothered to type it out, I can copy and paste it for you here real quick. Yeah, we're playing on the Discord. And if you want to take control of a hero, we got plenty of heroes. Because there's five of them, and there's only two of two of uh, two heroes, or two people controlling five heroes right now. All right, the um, elf is going to attack the orc that's diagonal. Ah, yes. Okay. For one. We 
we locked it. Alright, the knight is gonna attack the the orc that's diagonal in front of the rogue. Oh, Simpatron 2000 says I have to run shortly, but I'll try to come back next weekend. Hey, that's cool. Yeah, next weekend, I mean, if we don't finish Frozen Horror tonight, we're going to finish it next Saturday. I'm pretty confident. Unless nobody shows up or something. Something weird happens. We have a power outage. Uh, sorry. I got one. You got one. Okay. Uh, who's defending? The orc? The orc. Okay. The, bot, the orc in front of the rogue. Got it. Ooh, it's a hit. All right. And then that brings it to your goblin army led by that orc. All right. We were just discussing how all this talk about metal armor and everything and how they changed the... Uh, Helmet card. Can the, can the elf move back one after his attack? I know. Then I'll just leave the knight there, but I forgot to move the elf. Sure. Sure. Uh, I was thinking I'm I'm not gonna I don't think I'm gonna abide by their their change at this late stage and just say um, all these. These certain heroes that ha are allergic to metal, they can still wear helmets. Don't mind. Allowing them to do that. Okay. I have a leather cap. It doesn't add any, like, defense as far as dice, but it lets you re-roll a black skull if you're trying to defend. That way it's still armor, but it's not metal armor, and it doesn't do it, but it does a little something. But that's how all my leather armor works. It just lets you re-roll one. This isn't the rant cast, but I'm just like, I assume they did all that to try to save on space. You could just say, listen, there's there's three types of armor. There's a helmet, there's a shield, and there's the thing you put on your body. <laughs> and this character can use these types, this other character can use these other types, and there's no rhyme or reason, it just is. Rather than like, okay, they can use a metal weapon, but they can't use a metal armor? Like, what kind of sense does that make? So, anyway, whatever. Um, okay, so my turn, my army. Is that correction in the new core book that came out with the base game? I don't think they've ever changed the uh the core book at all where was that helmet uh revision and where they specifically well, finally it was in, it was in rise of the dread moon they just put another copy of the helmet except they just inserted the word metal into it okay so i guess you buy it and you just if you study it carefully go hey wait a minute why are they mentioning metal oh okay so this means if i have this other expansion the rogue relathorn and he can't wear metal armor i guess that means that he can't wear a helmet so it's like you'd have to buy those two different things for it to, yeah. I think it's kind of a clunky way to do it, but they probably were also thinking, well, why would we want to go back and like reprint everything or change everything? You know, we're not asking people to rebuy anything. It's just, yeah. just kind of slip it in a little update, you know, if you want. Yeah, because they had this this brilliant idea to say, oh, well, certain characters can't use metal armor. That was never never anything in the original game. It's just something that was introduced in the remake. But, yeah. Okay. All right, so let's see. I'm just trying to decide who I should attack here. All right, I'm going to go for the rogue here. One, two, three... Orc attacks. Nothing. Ooh. Hey, Fubar. Come hell or high water, we will finish the Frozen Horror eventually. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. D20. 
The other argument is maybe that helmet is metal. The others in the core of the prior expansions are metal adjacent. Yeah, it's just... Uh, they, uh, they might even put those cards into the newer ones after whatever they got printed is printed before they do another print run, too. They could. That'd be interesting to know. Yeah. Well, I think this is a new copy. I'd just be curious. Somebody could any. tell me this, uh, but in Warhammer lore, which is no longer part of HeroQuest lore officially, uh, wizards somehow metal interferes with their spell casting, and so that's why they don't use metal unless it's magical metal. <laughs> is that right? There is a lore of metal. Yeah. Um, that some wizards yeah. use. A lot of them. But the more they use magic, they turn to the chaos, and a lot of the chaos only wear metal. If they're wizards, so yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. What if they're like country and western fans, or they like classical and they're not into metal? It's like, <laughs> is, that, is that okay? Or you know, they like rap? Yeah. Is that where your name comes from, the tribe of Kurgan? Uh, well, actually, it comes from Highlander, but yeah, that's where Highlander gets it from. Yeah. Okay, because there is a Kurgan tribe, and the original Ever Chosen's name is Morkar. Ah, oh, fun. Well, Mark, or, Morkar is a historical figure, and which is where HeroQuest got it from originally. And yeah, it's also in Warhammer and spelled differently. And he's a cast warrior from long ago. Yep, it all just kind of copies itself and rolls into itself. But yeah, it's like okay, so the wizard can hold this big metal, big hunk of metal in his hand, but he just can't wear it on his body. Okay, <laughs> makes makes a lot of sense, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, that is where I, I know there are wizards who do wear metal in Warhammer. Yeah, various magic well, users, but Gandalf had no problem. I would say there's some magic around. systems where they have to be grounded, yeah. but that really doesn't make or or can't be grounded. Yeah. Or a lark. There's magic. a lot of storm magic, heavens magic, things like that. Uh, they use that are electrical. Yeah, that if you want to bring stuff in from other games, why not? It's just that I don't think they really maybe thought it through as well as they could have, but. You know, right, but as long as as long as he's now, not like uh, uh, casting or... fire or lightning, he should be fine. Yeah, but there's no. If he casts too much fire, then his armor's going to heat up, and he's going to cook himself. And lightning is probably going to hit his own armor and shock himself as well as whoever he's aiming for. But, see, but if you're not doing those two things, I don't see a problem with it. I don't see how it yeah. affects earth magic because it's, it is a mineral, metal, or sort of. You know, and as far as air, maybe it, maybe swift wind doesn't work because you're too damn heavy. But but see, but you be able to cast it on somebody else. Even as I'm saying all these things, there was never any metal rule for the wizard, and there still isn't. So the the, the metal no, the, rule well, they the original had the um, just had the restricting restrictions on the character himself themselves. Without saying why it, they 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 allowed him to use Boren's armor and the the magical swords. But, I mean, he could always use a dagger, which was metal. He could always wear bracers that were metal. So there was never any anti-metal rule for the wizard. I thought those were leather bracers and Boren's was like a stone. Well, they're based on, they're obviously based on Wonder Woman's. And are Wonder Woman's made of leather or are they made of metal? That's true. So, but, yeah, in, in the remake, they decided, okay, so these new heroes were going to have special rules. So the bard can use metal, but if he doesn't, he gets a bonus. Um, and then the druid absolutely cannot use metal, but I mean she could swing a battle axe, you know, <laughs> but she just can't wear it on her body. Okay, you know. The D and D adaptation is, it, you know, it encumbers your uh, voca not vocational, the uh, somatic yeah. components. You're moving your arms to cast spells. Like, He's part of a, a religious, typical. you know, creed that says that you can't wear it on your body, but you can hold it in your hand. I guess. I don't know. It, it could be whatever. And and that's fine. I just I think it's just a it's just an arbitrary thing. It's not it's not like copying any particular fiction consistently, and it's not yeah any more. Yeah, the D and D rule thing. makes sense. It's just when we were kids, uh, you we can use heavy them. weapons and put them down to move your hands around, but you can't you know strip off your armor real yeah. quick in battle. And well, the, the cast warriors out. are covered in metal, and they can use all kinds of yeah. stuff. Yeah, they don't abide by. <laughs> oh, it's like the creed, the code, whatever. But yeah, the um, what was I gonna say? The um, w when we were kids, we just kind of like rationalized it that oh, he he spent all his time. He's a bookworm. He spent all his time in the study, so he never worked out. He'd never yeah. really learned how to 
handle himself with weapons or fit himself into armor and so that's that's why but doesn't have time to bench yeah. you could you could have said well he can use those things just not as effectively as everyone else but you had no way to simulate that yeah like a minus one on a certain roles it does, it's hard to apply across the board that Ubar says none of it truly matters anyone remember that 80s movie dragon slayer only wizards can kill dragons which is counter to any other high fantasy product where barbs or knights or dragon killers yeah you really need an army to kill a dragon or some really good siege equipment probably or you just kill it when it's sleeping <laughs> yeah it's like if we had wizards they'd be using guns that's what they'd be using Okay. So my wizard gets in his wizard pack that I made. He, just gets, he gets a broken flintlock, but he has to use his fire spells to fire it. Oh, nice. <laughs> so anybody else gets it, they're like, wait a minute. This is just, it's its broken. It doesn't even work. <laughs> like, ha ha. Yep. And he got it from a pirate captain, so it's pretty cool that way, too. <laughs> I like it. All right. Well, I, I better uh, do some attacks here. Enough talk. Okay, so the goblin attacks the knight. I have a feeling he's not going to live to regret it. One skull. Four shields. Okay, so wrestling move. I just put my arms together and smash him into the ground. <laughs> okay, so maybe... Uh, like a hammer. Uh, a like drop. a hammer. Yeah. <laughs> Got him. Okay. This is own own fault. All right, but they but still they come. One, two, three. This one attacks. One skull. Knight. Two shields. Ching. Okay. Next goblin. One, two. Two skulls. Best one yet. Four shields. All right. All right. I choke. I choke slam that one all the way into that ice tunnel. Okay. You uh, you convinced me to get the WWE card game, so. It, it was it was like twelve bucks or something at Ollie, so it's like I, I had to pick it up. It's awesome. Yeah, I don't have all these where I am, but it was it was pretty cheap online, so pretty fun. Yeah, I think it's one of those uh, those, uh was it Rothenberger games or whatever. Yeah, and they have they have a lot of small little game kits, and and some of them are pretty fun. Yeah, it's just a little. Bit Even if you don't play the game, the components are sometimes great. Yeah, it's just a little bitty box. Okay. Um, yeah, so I guess this last goblin has room to attack now. His buddy got choke slammed. Hapless goblins. One skull. Knight. Ching. Two shields. All right. Barbarian. Uh, all right. He's going to go one, sp one space down and attack the goblin diagonal. Bubar says, I hear they just gave away oxen at Ollie's. What are you, are you playing uh, Oregon Trail over there? <laughs> oxen. One skull. Okay. I'm sorry, is this the uh, orc or the goblin who's being attacked? Uh, the, the barbarian can only reach the one through the door, I think. The, the goblin. The barbarian, yeah, he's gonna attack through the doorway diagonally for one. Okay, so got one chance. Got him. All right. Um, the rogue is gonna go up two spaces and attack that other goblin that's diagonally in front of the knight. He's going to be against the wall, though. Oh. And it, 
and the other wall next to the uh, next to the knight, but the down one, and attack diagonally the oh, goblin. Oh, okay. I was thinking, him. yeah, he, he oriented diagonally. I need to pay attention. Okay. <laughs> uh, two skulls. Okay, yeah. No way he can block that. There's only one left. Alchemist. All right, now I can shine here. I'm going to bust in there heroically. All right, you need to roll at least a three. <laughs> yeah. One, two, two three. Six. Yes. Seven. There you go. All right, so you're entering the room. Now let me uh, go directly north of the orc. Is it possible you get, uh, for monsters you, you to stand on the You get two black traps with the staff. Ah, yes. Yeah, I got that down here. Yeah, monsters are not affected by most traps, so that yeah, they can just stand on them. It could be, be safe. Okay. I think the only, the major exception is the pit trap. If they're in a triggered pit trap, they actually fight it as a, at a disadvantage. Which was a complaint about the app for a while because. They seemed oblivious to the fact that they were in pits. <laughs> One hit. Okay. Nothing. You got. Ah, uh, crack him right in the solar plexus. Good job. Yeah. Okay. The room is clear. Glad I was there to save the day, guys. <laughs> All right, the uh, elf moves in uh, to the space south of the night. I guess three spaces or so. Three. Yep. And he's he's going to stay right there. He's going to search for... Uh, he's going to search for traps. No traps to I think we, traps. You do yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah. Uh, because he gets two attacks, does he get two searches? No. No, celerity don't work, Dexter. Can I do um, an uncommon feat to search for secret doors? You guys do have a bonus treasure search, but not any other type of search. Yeah, you're just going to get one, one per turn otherwise, sorry. So I can't try it as an uncommon feat? Nah, I'm not going to allow it. Okay. Alright, then the, um... The knight is... Gonna, I guess the knight's going to search for treasure then. Okay. Gold. Mids, old rags, tattered fur robes, and soiled blankets. Ew, you find a collection of 15 gold coins. So 15 gold for the night. Did he have any gold before? Oh, the night's poor. All right. Um, I think... I think there's only two characters that didn't have gold, and I think that now they all have gold. Yeah. Well, I guess he had to go through the two-parter, so no opportunity to shop in between. No hideout. That's the other thing. Uh, people were all excited when Rise of the Dread Moon was like, hey, you know, there's a lot of quests where you can't shop or do anything between quests but you can go to the hideout and do it and people were like oh yeah this is great but then it's like wait a minute <laughs> All the people who say it's so much more realistic because you're underground how could you shop so you just have this magical shop that just like dispenses <laughs> stuff when you put gold in it's like okay so there's vending machines underground whatever it's no more realistic than before it just works okay 
Cause shopping is fun. I guess if I'm playing a campaign with somebody and it's like, if that's what it takes for them to allow me to buy better gear, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> sure, it's a hideout. Right, I'm going to have the knight move forward three spaces and down one so he's in that bottom right corner. All right. All right. Your turn. So if you draw that stupid log trap, you can only get two of us. <laughs> All right, creeping darkness again. Uh, okay. Strange darkness prevents you from using magic. All right, the barbarian takes a step into the green room and searches for secret doors. No secret doors detected. All right. Uh, the rogue uh, moves out of there and north into the room with the pit trap. Okay, no, wait a second. Um, I think seven spaces between the spit trap and the question mark. No, no, the rogue. He already went. He moved into the green room and searched for secret doors. My bad. I was distracted. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he's just going to stay right there. Um. He has two life? Two? He have two or? Yep. Is that yep. right? Correct. All right. All right. Have him move two more spaces up. I I'll, I'll, I'll start staging him there. I thought he only got All right. seven. Oh, that, well, no, it's whatever the unthreatened movement is, right? Oh, <laughs> you rolled it, but you didn't have to roll. Yeah, okay, so you want to go two up. Oh, no, that wasn't me that rolled that, I don't think. I, uh... But you're right. I don't even know what it is. Yeah, we'll just, just say it. it's fine. Okay, so you're... Uh, that, was the, that was the alchemist that rolled seven, and that was, yeah, that was to get into the green room. <laughs> I wanted to move seven because that's what I thought I counted it out to there. Oh, I get it. But that brings us back to the alchemist. All right. What do you say? Count? So that's, a, uh, that's a closed door there by the rogue? Yes. This is a closed door, yeah. Okay. And the question marks are identified potential traps? Is that what that is? Uh, yeah, suspicious, suspicious floors. Yeah, suspicious squares, because it's, I just figure on the stream it's too hard for you to remember, like, oh, that square looks suspicious, and then, you know, right. the next week, it's like, you just jump right on it. Uh, what do you want to do about this tunnel, Jace, the, uh, in this room? Um, you know, not it? sure yet. I want to get into this yellow room and okay, open that up, great. because if the tunnel goes right next door and it's full of monsters, everybody that walks through is going to get hit first. Okay, that's a good so I'd rather search? clear out whatever and then maybe send somebody in to look. That makes sense. Did we search for um, traps in the green room? Yes. The elf okay. searched for traps, the knight searched for treasure, and the barbarian searched for secret doors. I forgot to put that out for some reason. There's a cupboard in the room. Sorry. I think there was room for a cupboard with how many orcs and goblins were in there. Uh, in, in the... The room that the oh, that one. rogue is in, yeah. Um, can I search for treasure in the room I'm in, the green one? Yeah. Wizard's scrut scrutinizing gaze. Ah, Fubar redeemed a sure. bonus mercenary. Excellent. Um, actually, yeah, you can use the bonus search, so it's uh, 
there can be no wandering monsters or traps. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. How do I do that? Well, I didn't really give you time to do it, so you just used it right there. So it's a safe search. Well, but how do you do that? What? what? Just, just tell me. Oh, okay, hey, I'm good. using it. I'll just tell him that you want to use the safe search. But you can do that every turn. I mean, how? No, well, only the, the it's chat wants to buy it. Yeah, someone buys you a, a treasure search. It's basically like I'll give you a safe search in that room. Ah, okay. So you could. Okay, so I missed that one. trap. You're saying. Yeah, that's but, basically our hideout rule where they got the you can search the hide every hero can search the hideout for uh, treasure or whatever <laughs> it's, it's wait a, good thing wait a second so it's head. skipping all of those cards yeah Is that how it works? until you get well that's one. very powerful yeah oh my gosh it's captain canary the merc send him down the hall he's the barbarian's problem thank goodness we used that at that time <laughs> heroic brew okay so you've got heroic brew now Wow, that's strong, isn't it? What's the... Uh... Two, two attacks. Single use. Yeah, so I, I have forgot one all about of safe search, but he brought it up when um, when the elf was in there, but I couldn't use the search because I had already done the search for uh, traps. <laughs> Thank goodness you brought that up. The um, Heroic Brew, is that the exact same as the Potion of Strength? No. So Potion of Strength is two extra dice for one attack, whereas the Heroic Brew is actually two attacks instead of one. Oh, you, I roll to attack, then I roll again to attack. Yep. Okay. The way we're handling yeah, it, you... you could attack two targets, or you attack the same target, we just consider it one big attack. Okay. So you'd be like rolling four dice against one guy. And he gets to defend against that big attack. That's not how Avalon Hill does it, but that's how we do it. Okay, so I get two attacks in one turn. Okay. Yeah. So Fubar says it's Captain Canary the Merc. Send him down the hall. He's the barbarian's problem. Jacer can pick the type. Okay. Well, what do you say, Jacer? Which hall is he coming out of? Um. Or is he coming out of the ice tunnel? Maybe he's coming out <laughs> of the pit. Maybe he's coming out of the pit in the, in the hallway. Okay. Like here. Um, the pit. Be a natural place for him to come out. What would he say? Alright. Let's go with a... I guess if he's in the corridors, give him a crossbow. Crossbowman. That crossman's gonna start creeping back towards the doorway. Jumps out of the pit trap. Goes to the ice. Okay. Go ahead and roll for him. Wait, no, that's not the right way though. I want him to go towards the where we came in this quest at, like to go back towards the entrance way. Oh, head towards the, the stairwell? Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. But, so, uh... So it's probably going to have to go around... Let's see. Let's try and think. Let me put out a door. I forgot a door. The way back... Yeah, it's gonna be have have to be this way because you can't go back up the uh, the ice slide. So okay. Okay. So, so one, six spaces two, that way. Four, five, six. Thanks, Fubar. Yes, thank you. All right, so that was the Barbarian, the Mercenary, and the Rogue went, so we're still on the Alchemist. See, that ice tunnel leads to that one. Leads to that one. It's there. 
All right. Yes, that's the yeah the big ice. Yep. Kubar redeemed a bonus monster for Zargon. Excellent. What's this? A monster climbing out of the hole in the big room? <laughs> the big room, okay. Skeleton jumps out. Roll for elite. Uh, I'm not doing elites for those. Okay. That'd be an upgrade. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Separate purchase. Big fire lizard says, just saying hello, don't mind me. Hey, welcome. Welcome to HeroQuest fan. Thanks for joining us. Got plenty of heroes if you change your mind. Yes, there's a rogue, an elf, and a barbarian available. And a mercenary. Yep. Kubar upgraded a monster. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he heard me. All right, we'll just say that that's an elite skeleton then. What's the elite do? Just make one more combat dice or something well what oh, it I, changes the dice yeah it changes the dice so he'll attack with black dice and defend with blue so it's a significant upgrade now that's not the only thing i've done with upgrades i've done other things but the elites are like the strongest type of monster you asked for this jaser <laughs> good old fubar that's all right still the alchemist turn so, but now we got to roll for movement. <laughs> yep. yep. Okay, what the bad skeleton? <laughs> ah, skill card for hero. Hey, thanks, big fire lizard. Okay, so let's see for the barbarian. Okay, excellent. Just gotta locate my heroic skill cards here. All right, heroic sacrifice. Guess. Really bright. So you take a blow intended for another member of your party. You must be adjacent to the left or the right of your comrade to perform this feat. So heroic sacrifice for the barbarian. Thanks, big fire lizard. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. So the uh, what is the uh, what is the alchemist going to do? I am going to. So the room that the rogue is in has been searched for traps, and that's what we found are those two question mark squares. Yes. Okay. I am going to... And the big to... Jeff got us walking in the first time. <laughs> okay, and where is that elite skeleton standing? Is he in that room in the middle of the map, or is he in the hallway? Yes, he's in the big room in the middle of the map. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See that he's one? Gonna fight, he's going to fight the new crossbowman. Right there. And he's there. Got... Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's, okay. he's within range. Oh, almost. I'm going to go in the square one south and two to the west of the rogue. Actually, in that little corner of the one square northwest of the pit trap that's in the room. Oh, wait, I got to roll now because the monster's on the board. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh wait, what did I do wrong? I mean, you do have Swift Wind, which is your last spell. Like, I want to save that for when I'm really running scared yeah. in my bridges. Uh, yeah, and I was thinking the rogue has the rallying horn. It gives everybody in range one extra movement die for a round if he uses it. Go directly south of the rogue. Okay. Am I able to search that room for treasure? Yeah. I have before. Who's to say, but <laughs> I'll allow it. <clears throat> You'll get a card. You want to search? Yeah. All right. I'm searching for treasure, ladies and gentlemen. Gold! You find a loose stone. You tear it from the wall. Behind it, you discover a small leather pouch wrapped in an old rag. Peering inside, you find 25 gold coins. Got an old rag and 25 gold coins. <laughs> Yeah, that old rag is going to come in handy. It's just not I just saw we panned through, you know, five monster cards. I almost feel like that's almost cheating when I saw those five go by. I said, gosh, the next one's got to be something good. Well, yeah, but the, but the um, the chat can can buy a shuffle, and then he shuffles it anyway, yeah. so they weren't, oh, they're not going to be on the bottom. Yeah, no, so, so don't, don't think that because the chat can change everything on you. Okay, good. They absolutely can. They have the power. Remember, yeah, the, remember that Discord server and a lot of people watching, there's three quarters of them are more in favor of Zargon. <laughs> <laughs> I have my supporters. And the rest of them are kind of equal. So if we get something good, expect something bad if we make it through. <laughs> Bonus challenge. <laughs> yeah. Old brag. You're on your way to a new sock. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's like he, he's collecting all these scraps. It's like, well, you know, the gold is nice, but this other stuff is actually useful. Useful for the wizard. Yeah. He can't wear metal. Yeah. Yes, yes, that's right. <laughs> wrap, wrap the uh, wrap the staff with the cloth and light it on fire, and then you got a flaming staff. <laughs> You're an alchemist. Make it work. <laughs> so he could wear gambeson underneath his armor, and he'd be fine, right? Yeah. Old rag. Woo! -hoo. Well, even think of that hard, the hard linen armor that the Romans wore. It was like laminated linen or something. Which is almost like our Kevlar. And they wore that back then. But they had actual metal, too. Oh, they did. Not, well, a, lot not a, a lot of... It From depended, but yeah. Of their they, entire, yeah. Different stages. Yep. Yeah, armor was pretty amazing. It wasn't just all one thing. All right. But yeah, good armor was expensive. Nice to have an empire to finance it for you. Yeah. Well, you even look at, like, the, the farther east, and they used, you know, a multitude of different things, like the bamboo and the layers of silk that would actually catch an arrow so you'd be able to pull it back out of your body without it, you know, the barbs carrying you a bigger wound. You know what I mean? It, it might have hurt, like, who knows, but, you know what I mean? In the end, it was a cleaner wound. Might survive. All right, who are we up to next? So, um, search. Uh, elf. Or, no. Yeah, it's the elf. Okay. Yeah, the elf. Um, the elf is going to move six okay. spaces towards the wizard. And now we have the knight. Down here in the corner. Alright. The knight has to roll. Seven. Uh, he's going to move seven spaces towards the elf. Let's 
since I'm going to Gen Con this year, um, you guys should come up with a list of questions for me to ask the uh, Avalon Hill guys. In the Discord. Well, what do you think is going to be shown there? What do you think they're going to... I don't know. I mean, they're definitely going to show Rise of the Dread Moon because like, almost all the sessions just say Rise of the Dread Moon prequel quest, which we know is Nightfall now. But then they chose to reveal that already with the Hero Quest Day thing, so I don't know. I was thinking maybe Renegade Studios would be showing Hero Skate, but I guess that's too soon because it's not listed. But for all we know, they could just have some, you know, last minute thing on last day. By the way, <laughs> this little. Well, didn't they have shows. the Mage of the Mirror in like a glass? Yeah, they had a glass case. Quest to look at last year. Yeah. I really hope they do maybe, you know, Prophecy of Teller would be really interesting. Yeah. See if there's any tiles or anything. Yeah. Well, I'll definitely be going to the to the booth to take a look at what they've got. I've just not signed up for any specific sessions. So okay. I've got the generic and tickets. So if somebody bails, you, know, you can always get in there. Got to give Farming the nudge, nudge, wink, wink, say some more. Yeah. And if they were looking for cosplayers yeah. to unveil a new hero. Yeah, I wonder... Oh, good point. I forgot all about that. So if that's the wandering monk wandering around Gen Con, yeah, so you may like, never even know it. You may never even know it's connected to Hero Quest until something happens. Yeah, it's just this uh, little men me. mendicant friar going around, or some Shaolin monk like with his little staff. Well, like, so that's what I I thought. I saw a bunch of people debating. I think he's going to be more of a physical martial monk. Some people think maybe more of a friar like monk, where he's more healed. But they're making it up as they go along. So it would have to be confirmed. In my head, canon was that he was the one training, like, the Guardian Knights. Like, he was their Yoda. <laughs> yeah. That would be cool. Wars don't make one great. <laughs> yep, instead of short, you you can't see well. <laughs> I would like the priest character. But he makes up for it with all of his other uh, things. Yeah. No. A well, traditional, like, cleric from the original Amiga game. Like, wasn't there a... Legacy of Sorosel. Yeah, there was a there was a cleric. Yeah, like a cleric would be neat, an elven or human. Just yeah, I would I would rather a cleric only because I don't want another character with armor restrictions. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. He can only use metal armor. He can't use anything else. That would be oh, you know what? That would be fine. But I, I would then I got to do a metal shield. Sure. Why not? Bar says, so that was a joke, but hearing you all riff on it, a homebrew item. Rag armor. <laughs> Ten pieces of rag <laughs> found in searches, so you got to keep track of them. Combine to plus two armor. Monsters, wandering monsters. Always target you because of the stinky rags. Laundry day. Nothing clean. <laughs> yeah. Nice. See? <laughs> Necessity, the mother of invention. Okay, after all that frivolity. Okay, so the elf moved. The knight moved, and we're waiting on your um, skeleton to move. Okay. Let's see. Skeleton only moves seven, I believe. Six. Six? Uh, six. six. Oh, I'm thinking of a chaos warrior. Six, yeah. I think the, the undead is six, five, four. Yeah, I don't... I, I, I didn't memorize them as well as I memorized the uh, green skin. Well, uh, the, the only way I thought of, I always thought about it was that the yeah, mummy they, is like, has all the bandages and moves get, the slowest. And they get slower, you take the but bandages they're off, it's a zombie. Yeah, take the bandages off, it's now a zombie. It moves an extra space, and if it's lost all its skin, it's got no weight, so it moves six. Yeah, the skeleton's the only one the mercenary can never outrun. Because they have the same movement. <laughs> It'll actually gain on a swordsman. <laughs> Alright, so just move him to the door. Can I move the mercenary before the barbarian, since the barbarian's controlling it, or does that have to be right after? I'll allow it. All right. Um, you know, he's just going to go in and attack with his broadsword. He's the captain, right? Yeah, 
the, the basic rules say he after the hero could kill him, but I don't care. Go for it. With as much uh, blood, the <laughs> two. Mercy All right. Still on his quest. Might as well let him let him do something. Oh yeah, I know, right? What are we up to now? There's been a lot of dead ones. Yeah, I haven't been counting. 5, 10, 15, 20, 24 dead mercs. He is merc number 25. He's the captain of the crossbowmen. That's a kill. All right. All right. He killed an elite skeleton. I think it might be the first elite monster a merc has killed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Skeletons are very tough. So. All right. Um... And then uh, the Barbarian. Oh, he's over there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So seven puts him in front of the, the other door. Yes. All right. So that's seven. So he has one space of movement. Uh, open the door. Because he can move eight with the snowshoes of speed. Okay, so opening the door, revealing the room. You see the other. Is that an action to open a door, or is it just a free action? Free. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if the rules were different. Or... Oh yeah. Okay, so in the room you see a number of things. That's a matching tunnel tile. Yep. All right. Got two skeletons flanking. Two Chaos Warriors. And a Femir. Alright, let's roll our Elites. Skeletons first. Okay, one of them's an Elite. Bottom one. Chaos Warriors. First one's an elite. Femir. Nope. Okay. All right. So that's what you see. Oh, he's got one more space. He's going to charge in there and attack. He's the barbarian. I got to do it for Strange Bus. <laughs> Strange Bus. Grognak the Legend. All right. With Molly the Murderous. McStabby Stab. <laughs> McStab. <laughs> Long, longest name ever. <laughs> that was Rich Boy's idea. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, oh, yeah. And I totally, it's his last name for sure. It's the sword's last name. Not that the sword needs a last name, but it's got a first name, a last name, and the murderous in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would be hilarious. Uh, you know, and that's probably his battle cry. It's just saying the name of this sword. <laughs> All right. We got what you got. Who are you attacking? Uh, two, two white, and two. Oh wait, not green. Uh, two black. Yeah, that would make it weaker. Who are you um, attacking? Yeah. Uh, you know, I do that for that first elite skeleton. Okay. Three skulls. Three skulls. Yeah, there's no way. Oh, even though oh, I got almost, that. Almost. <laughs> Just wanted to see what he got. Uh, got him. If you get two skulls, don't you get to roll again? To see if you get the third one. <laughs> That'd be nice. Okay, so you uh, scored a hit. 
Got rid of one of the monitors. All right, so now we have the the rogue. Okay. The rallying horn. I get to use that and it gets the extra movement, right? Yep. And how many times does it is it every time I use it there's a chance of a wandering monster or is it when I use it a certain amount of times? The fourth usage in a quest. Okay, the fourth usage in a quest. And that gives them one extra D six? Yep. Every well, all, all of these characters would get an extra D6 on your team. So the only person who wouldn't get it would be the, uh, well. That's fine. That's fine. It's the elf that I need, it, need to have the extra one. So, yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. And then, with the and, elf, would, and yeah. would the, yeah, all right. Yeah, that works. That, all right, cool. So bring... All right, so he blows the rallying horn and then charges in next to the barbarian. Uh, how many spaces? I'm gonna have to roll. Oh, I have to roll for his movement. But he get, he gets an extra die too. Yeah, so three d six. So I really only need like a four, right? Correct. All right. All right, 15. I got plenty. Uh, I mean, you could run through the monster too because you can pass through but whatever you want to do. Uh, that's not a bad idea. All right, he's going to run to that northern corner and attack that other skeleton. Or he could have gone that way, I guess. Yeah. Right. As long as he went... Yeah, well, running through the monsters was much cooler. <laughs> okay. Dodging and weaving through through the Chaos Warrior, the Famir, the, then the Elite Chaos Warrior, okay. and then dodging underneath the skeleton's legs to slide into that corner is a much better look than just walking through the Barbarian and hopping over a skeleton. <laughs> what a show-off. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, so he's going to attack the skeleton, which is flanked by his friend there, with the long sword. So four. Four to... Two skulls. Got him. All right. And then that leaves the alchemist up. I'm pretty limited. One elite chaos dude up there who's really ripped. Yeah, there's an elite chaos one guy. and there's a not so elite one. But if you go by the not so elite one, he might attack you first, take a step back, and then bring the elite one over to whack you. Well, so yeah, I, I better stay where I'm at. Um. Yeah. Uh, I think it's the can, you do, can you do a special alchemist search on that uh, cupboard? What's that? What's an essential alchemist search? Sometimes you get alchemy potions. It's the only thing that I think works with the Can anyone alchemist. do that? Or is it just my character? He's making I that think up. it's just the alchemist to mix mix something up. And that's I, all and I think you still have to roll for it. I think I think you're making that up. I don't actually have that rule. I, I have it for the alchemist bench in the sorcerer's table, but not for the Oh, oh okay. Alright, it's the alchemist all right, it's not, I mean, I like it. find it. It's a cool idea. I would just say an uncommon feat if he wants to see. Uh, okay. That. You want to see if there's any bottles of unknown liquids that you can mix in there? All right. Yeah, yeah I mean, the wrong like it, it might looks. Try. Yeah, the cupboard looks like something cool like that. It has to be something feasibly I could do, right, for me to do the uncommon feat. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I guess you'd have to at least walk up to the cupboard and then try an uncommon feat. Yeah, I could do that because my guy's kind of a panicky wuss right now, so I feel like that would be something he would do. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quickly, yeah, let me yeah. see yeah, what I can grab. Even, yeah. Yeah. Yes, Warriors, even you even need a drink. Faces away from the battle yes. and towards the cupboard because he has to see what's inside. <laughs> yeah, I'll take two walks to the, or one square to the north or one north. He's like, I'm up already up some right? gold in a rag. <laughs> yeah, I'm up a rag. Big money. <laughs> All right. Go for your, uh, roll your one common one. knife at the skull. I'll let you draw. Okay, so one white. Ah, Ooh. okay. The fates have accepted the challenge. But you could get an ogre grog or a poison, so. Yeah. <laughs> if I were using the. Just get for the good of the. Oh, group. you were wanting me to draw from the uh, the Rise of the Dread Moon deck instead of this. Oh, the oh uh, uh, yeah, the alchemy deck. Ah, ha, ha, that'd be funny. Okay. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Interesting, is, interesting exactly. idea. Yeah, because I have it now. I I could do that. All right, let me go grab that. So, we'll just whichever one has the better outcome. <laughs> well, well, the um, the alchemy deck I, has the ogre grog, so you might end up, you know what I mean, with a uh, suffering another mind point damage. But it's just whatever like the Kurgan decides, like if he deck. wants to yeah. do it, I'm okay with. I mean, that seems feasible. That I'm like, let me search for random <laughs> vials of liquid. We're in need. I like that because it kind of makes like a D and D rule well, that, work that's in the why, setting. That's, yeah, that's the well. That's why the uncommon feats can't be ridiculously over the top, but they right. you know. Well, the rogue can be ridiculous over the over the top only because he's allowed to already walk through monsters. You know what I mean? But normal characters, you're right. It's more plausible. Yeah, I like that. But, you know, but the fifty fifty chance of failure is like walking a tightrope. Yeah, it always looks cool, but when you fall, it sucks. I almost like, like, if it's something plausibly the character would do, and not to change any rules, just shoot, you know, throwing things out. If it's something the character could plausibly do, the three skulls is a success. If it's something he plausibly couldn't do, the two shields is the success. And the black is always the critical. Because then it's kind of like, you know, I could plausibly find a potion, but maybe someone else isn't as good at identifying it. So the barbarian wanted to do that. He would roll two white shields to succeed um, right you know right. Is and, it when, neat? And, right. and if you roll roll or yeah and even if you roll that die or whatever it's like all right the skull all right you did the thing all right well now there's a chance but there's still a chance you can get the the yeah. um the ogre like drop black skull i was being and if you got the black skull you might have already got you might have said oh yeah you found a thing and drank it and it's poison so you know what i mean it's like an automatic right. poison versus the chance that it could be poison I like that. Yeah, I like that it can be something good. Hey, we've got uh, El Viler and Sikh Hashem here. Welcome, guys. Thanks for letting can me I have get the it fun subjective. of banning the bot. Imagining some fantasy characters be confused by a bottle of Yoohoo chocolate milk. <laughs> it's a bottle of Yoohoo. Chocolate water? Yeah. So, yeah, Vicious. these uncommon feats, I mean, it's like eventually they could get kind of ridiculous. Like, okay, we're not going to be summoning space marines or anything like that. It's like, yeah. But, yeah, Best okay, so here, I had to shuffle them. They'd never been shuffled before. So, ooh, look how crisp and new they look. Yeah, not all covered in Cheeto dust yet. All right, so you got the uncommon feat, so we'll just draw one of these, see what you get. Potion of Strength. So there you go. Cool. And I have one of those already, right? So I have two. Oh, you do. Know. Well, if you move next to the barbarian, you can maybe pass him one. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's not about. I'm all about that. There's only so many bottles I can fit on my alchemy belt. Hey, you're the, you're the alchemist. If anybody's got an unlimited uh, storage, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. After all, I do have a dirty old rag. I can wrap at least another potion or two up in that. Yeah. I picture like bandoliers of bottles. <laughs> Cling clang. So I'm walking around. Yeah. Okay, that's the end of my turn. That was kind of neat. I, I, I like that home rule. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I mean, and, and and you're right though. Like you really can't do much because you can't jump in combat at this stage. So, but it gives you something to do on your turn. So you're not the wizard that just stands there in the corner. Wasn't there in that new alchemy deck uh, a uh, something that was gives me back a spell use or something. Uh, 
Uh, I don't know it well enough. Magic. Push magic. Push yes. magic. Yeah. yeah, from Prophecy uh, of Teller. Your video. Yeah. Oh, Prophecy yeah. of Teller. But that's in the alchemy deck or your potion deck? Uh, it's in the alchemy deck. Okay. My potion deck? I don't know if I have that one in there. But you have a different one that gives you a spell, don't you? I don't have a potion that does that on me. Okay. Yeah, a potion of recall for the elf. That's what that is. Okay, the elf. All right. All right, so the elf gets to roll 2d6 because of the horn. Well, because he has oh, no, the he speed, he can uh, just... Oh, yeah, because of the celer uh, celerity. Celerity. That's true. Um, So what's what's he gonna do? Right. He's gonna go and attack that elite chaos warrior twice. Um, right, stand right between the uh, the barbarian and the rogue. Okay, so six dice. Yes. Four skulls. Wow. Okay. Ha! Holy cow! Get out of <laughs> here! <laughs> and your wrestling move. Ching! You got him. All sevens. Look at that. All right. All right. I'm just gonna draw one randomly. Oh. See what we get. Bionic elbow. <laughs> so. As you're, as you're, uh, you know, swinging at him, you re you suddenly realize that painted on his armor are some uh, like polka dots, like where his shorts would be, <laughs> and he does like this weird dance, and then he like jumps up with his elbow, and he just like spikes you on the top of your head, clang. That's a hit. And he takes the enemy takes no damage, but you take a hit. Yep, and that ends hilarious. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And in fact, you die, too. No, I don't. I had three body points, and the wrestling moves only one. Oh, so all this time I had his wrong thing there. Oh, whoops. Okay. So he had three before? Oh. Yeah. Okay, so he's down to two. It's, it, the rogue is the one that's... Is low, the lowest, I think. I got. Yeah, oh no, the knight. The I knight is at four. Some reason I the alchemist is reason. at two. Oh no, the rogue's at two. And the barbarian is at six. Okay, so look at the screen there. Uh, that should all be correct now. Uh. Six for the barbarian. Six two. Four two. Two for the rogue. Uh, the knight has four. The alchemist two, and the elf is two. Okay. Uh, so the elf you got at four is really at two. Yeah. On your yeah, screen, yeah, it should be it should be reflecting correctly now. Yeah, the w the wizard has four on the screen, and the knight. Yeah. See on the screen it goes just from top to bottom: barbarian, rogue, wizard, elf, knight. I'm using the icons borrowed from the companion app there. All of some haircuts. Is the... I, I, yeah, I just <laughs> lost the screen. So. Oh, you lost your screen. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. but the the knight has four, and the barbarian has six and everybody else has two the wizard has four. Oh, how'd he get up to four well that's what i was asking at the start there i thought he healed himself i healed him last game with my coins 
at one point. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, you, and he went up to four, and then he went down to three, and then down to two. So the... Oh, no, wait, that's the rogue. Hold on. Uh, one, alchemist page. I mean, everybody has enough potions that if we made a mistake, we can just, like, cross one off, but I yeah. figure... It, yeah. Just, yeah I, whatever, I was thinking though. he was about to die, but actually, he wasn't. The alchemist was... The alchemist, I have it too, as well. He went up to four and then got hit for two points of damage and went from four down to two. But he does have a potion of healing, so he was fine. Everybody has, I think everybody has at least one potion of healing. So you're thinking he actually used the potion of healing? Because he has one plus four on here that I didn't cross off. If he right, and I have him at two body points, so I didn't think that he would use the potion early. I just figured he'd use it when he died to go back to full health. But I only have him. I have him that he used the potion, and then he went down to two body points. So I don't know that he. I know he just picked it up, but I didn't know that he picked it up and drank it right away. Maybe I'll get in the habit of reviewing the tape before we actually start in the future. Sorry. Yeah, let me know. No, please. I mean, whatever the the real thing is, I want to make sure okay. I got it accurate. Oops, I just changed the night. Come on. Can you use a potion at the moment of death? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Death saves okay. are allowed. Okay, the wizard is the one that needs to be changed. Okay, so you're saying the wizard should have two. Two body points and a potion of healing, but if he does have that four, then he doesn't have a potion. So there's no way for him to heal two. Unless the rogue gives him, or whoever, or whoever it is that has the little plus so two... Gives it to him. The other two would be wasted, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, just put it at two and then keep the potion. If I can, you know, use it when I pass course, away, that's know. okay. Yeah, in the European version of the game, you couldn't do that. North American, you always could. If you have, you have oh, an action on your turn and you've got a healing spell, you just automatically use it. You've got a potion of healing of any kind, you just automatically use it. Okay. Because you can't go negative, so you just come back with whatever you've got. Okay. So, all that aside, so after the elf... Uh, the knight. Uh, yeah. down there. One, two, three, four, five. So I need like a six. Alright. Uh, oh, but he gets 3d6. Uh, no, he's the one that doesn't get 3d6, right? No, he gets he's he's full, uh, yeah, he gets 3d6, because okay. not, not hindered by armor of any kind. Okay. Alright, nine. To put him just under the barbarian in that corner. And he'll attack the, uh, he'll just attack the Chaos Warrior. One. Block again. Alright. Uh, so make it your turn. Well, then allow me to retort. Yep. Okay, so let's see. Well, I'm pretty damaged. Uh, yeah, the yeah. Elite Chaos Warrior yeah. is going to move up and attack the rogue. Two skulls. Oh. 
Damn, you should have five defend dice. Yeah. Ignore the green. Ignore the green. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, you, so I block you one, one, take one. Take one. Down to one. So this is where the little noise in Zelda starts. Down to one heart. <laughs> thinking of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles where it's like dee -dee 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 -dee. I hated that game now the arcade game that's where it was at oh yeah in Turtles in Time you yep. okay. could throw them at the screen I love that oh yeah it was the swimming stage with the dam yeah. I kept drowning over and over and over again. So you get the first pass or through that first stage pretty easy, and then you get stuck on that stupid dam. Yep. And then when you get past that, it's like, all right, cool. And you're like, oh, I only have one life left. Let me see how far I get. Right, you're cussing at the game and you get in trouble. That was a quarter eater, that one. Yeah, you know, Turtles in Time, I never actually saw in an arcade. Uh, the first arcade. Well, it was game, Super Nintendo, that, I believe. Yeah, it was fun on the yeah. Super Nintendo. Um, but yeah, in, in the arcades, I it was always the first arcade game, four players. I, I only think we played four players a couple of times. It was almost always three, but it was a good time. As far as Hero Quest goes, remember that original Dungeons and Dragons arcade game? Yep, Tower of Doom. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, and then Shadow of from Mastara and the warrior, he'd always be like, I get pissed. Bro. <laughs> yeah. Pretty fun. Pretty fun. Okay, so next monster, let's see. Um, taking too much time here. Okay, Pamir is gonna attack. The trick to the dam level is to just go through. Seaweed hurts, but it's minor. Yeah, it's possible. It's one of those things where I wouldn't even play it unless I had a game genie, because I just get too frustrated. <laughs> Game Genie was great. Alright, one skull. Barbarian. All right, cha ching. Cha -ching. I have one more chaos warrior, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so he's going to attack the knight. Three skulls. Three skulls. Uh, two. Take one. one. And night is down to three. All right, that's my turn. I got. I might have to exit and restart again. I lost the Discord uh -oh. camera. All I got is a button. Yeah, just uh, asking ask me to show all participants. Leave and come. And, your, and yours says unstable. All right. It's working clear for me. Okay. Yeah. That's why I said it's probably my yeah, phone. It's you. All right. it's not me, it's you. <laughs> I just wanted to say that, sorry. Yeah, it happens a lot with connection, a lot of stream. Yeah. So Big Fire Lizard just got Hero Quest. Nice. Yep. 
All I right. Mean, Fantastic. The way we the way we play is not the way everyone plays, but we like it. I've yet to see Always anybody add house audience participation. But hey, I, I don't have any problem if other people want to do that in their streams. I mean, go for it. Can't copyright rule. I mean, a shout out would be nice, but <laughs> that's, that's about it. That's about it. All right, he's just going to attack. Better? The, uh, uh, have him go for... Move, I guess he'll move up one into the right one and attack the elite one. Okay. One score. One. Uh, one score. Yes. Yeah. Deflected. And one Deflected. one block. Mm -hmm. And then and the rogue is going to target the same one since the barbarian is next to him. But I can type his a lot faster. <laughs> Three skulls. <laughs> Good roll. My biggest problem with the barbarian is typing two black, two white over and over again. It's, I'll take it. <laughs> okay. All right. One hit. So it's one wound. He's got two left. Okay, and then he needs to roll his movement. Oh, oh, hold on. I hit enter. Four. One, two. One, two. Yeah, he'll shoot in there next to the wizard. Four spaces. And then I'll... Uh, Wait, hold They'll on. tag the out. Uh, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. So the the rogue is moving. Yes, four spaces to be next to the alchemist. Yeah, he attacked. A one hit, and now he's doing his moving. I mean, he can still hit and move pretty good, but it it just it would have been cool if he could do it in the same turn. But it's still pretty cool that he can move through monsters, so he can't get pinned in. So he can, it still ends up being a skirmisher. I like the mechanic. Uh, so he goes there and uh, he just tags the alchemist. Says you're in. You're up. He can, right. you know, get to the doorway and try to shoot the the eye out of that Famir. Yeah, I like that idea. So the the chaos warriors they can't move diagonally, correct? Yeah, no no monsters can yeah. move diagonally. I um, mean, yeah, I'm gonna get in that doorway there. Just one square to my southeast. Here, you mean? All right, you're in the doorway. And Wind up my give it a nice shot with a sling. Give it a. That is your proper sound effect. Always. Oh, clutching! Click, click, click. Oh, I missed. Hey, man. Thrown off by his mono optic appearance. Yeah. I was aiming between the eyes, and I didn't know where to shoot. 
No, he was trying. He tried to attach his sling to his wizard staff to try to be like them fancy wizards, and just don't got it yet. <laughs> I Can't reached in instead of the sling. I pulled out the dirty rag. <laughs> the dirty rag, kind of like. I'm trying to sling it with the dirty rag. <laughs> you filled it with, with with different colored sand, and it's like a confetti, and you're like, oh, that was for the end. <laughs> the end of his stage show. My just, my Rip Taylor. The end of the, yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, Elf is going to attack yeah. with the long sword. Okay, attacking that Elite okay. Chaos Warrior. Yes. Get your best shot. Get your best shot. Oh, he missed. He missed. All right. Uh oh. He gets 1d6. Why can't I roll for a wrestling match? <laughs> That'd be a funny... I mean, we would have to establish that early on, I think. Yeah, and goblins and skeletons, that'd be horrible. Oh, you missed. And even, zo even zombies. Oh, you missed. Yeah. All right, let me roll my dice to see if I can wrestle you. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like Space Crusade. Like, every close encounter is basically a chance to get killed. Oh, he got a one. One. All right, so he goes. Yeah, there's no safe. safe it's down place. one in yeah. front of the Vermeer. Nope, no no safe place to. Protecting. All right, well, the road made it out safe, but the elf did not. <laughs> yeah. But he's still covering the wizard. Exactly. All right. Night. Let's see. He's gonna go three D six. All right, got a seven. Ah, big fire lizard redeemed a bonus potion. Nice. Uh, you know, he's just going to hop two spaces and jump on the other side of the elf. And... Okay. He's going to try to hit that elite chaos warrior. All right. Potion of Antidote. Heals up to two body points of damage caused by poison. Sword and the shield homie at the bottom fighting the cast warrior. Oh, yeah. So this goes to the knight. So he gets a potion of Antidote. Not too incredibly useful at the moment but so he's got two of those now does this specify just did two points of what uh damage caused by poisoner is that what you said yeah by poison it doesn't say what kind of poison poison so it's a little bit better than right. the anti-poison quill which is only darts or uh whatever the other type was needles darts and needles. This is like all types of poison. Alright, can I immediately pass that down to the elf then? Ah, yeah. Since I'm not doing it, yeah. it's my turn. Yep. Alright, so we'll yep. give him the antidote. So the elf gets the antidote. So the elf gets the antidote. Now you just have one. You each have one. Cool. And that's uh oh I forgot the forgot the mercenary. Yeah. The crossbowman. He's just been kinda hanging out. Yeah, out of out uh, of sight, just, out of mind. Yeah, just move him six spaces 
uh, to the doorway where that ice is. And then we'll do the rolling for the ice and everything on his real... Yeah, I forgot after the Barbarian. And I remember the turn before to do it before him so that I didn't forget. <laughs> Fear my dice. Now go ahead, roll, roll his, uh, roll his uh, one combat die. Oh, he was laying on there ice the whole turn. <laughs> so he fell down. Yep. All right. Now it's your turn. <laughs> okay. How does the ice work? You have to just roll to see if you fall. Yeah. It doesn't hurt you, but it does make you vulnerable because you can't do anything, including defend. So if there's a monster nearby, he could just wail on you the next turn. No so you just stop in your tracks and then you yeah. can't react. Exactly. Unless you have the snow yeah, speed, you fall, and you, you fall or that's or it. air walk, you can glide over it. Now you can, you can try to jump over the ice, but he didn't try to do that. So you have to do that for each square you. Well, you can cross or... you can try to jump two squares at the same time, and a, uh, you have to roll a white shield to succeed. If you're jumping to one square, it's just like jumping a pit. A skull means you fell in. But you try to jump it and you fail, but then you might fail, roll you might to slip, slip and you might not actually slip. So there's still a chance. So it's worth trying. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see. Who should I attack? Yeah, it seems like I should attack the knight with the elite cast warrior. Three skulls, knight. Two shields. So, not quite. Ah. So, one one damage. Yep. So, I think I'm down to two now. Mm. Now you are, yeah. Right. Yep, down to two. Okay. Chaos Warrior attacks the elf. Two skulls. Fimmer attacks the elf. One skull. Three shields, wrestling move. All right, what do you got? All right, he's going to stun him. down there one damage he's still alive but at least he's wounded yep now we got two wounded guys in there
All right, that's it for my monsters. Go back to you. Now that uh, mercenary is still on the ice for this round. So barbarian. Yes, until after the yeah, until after barbarian goes. Uh, a two. Now lead only has one left, or does he have two left? He's got two left. All right, then there's a chance. Might take him out. One black skull, one white skull. Oh, blocked them. Yep. All right. Typically, uh, they roll just like a hero does for defense, so a lot more durable. Twice as durable, in fact. Alright, uh, so now would be the crosswoman's turn. After the barbarian. Yeah, but he's still on the ice. Oh, he loses a whole other turn? Okay. Well, it's like he falls at the time, and so, like, his he misses his next turn, basically. Then he pops back oh, up again. Pops back up again. Oh, okay. Sense. Yeah. All right, then to the rogue. Yep. I think he's kind of stuck there. Yeah, why would he be? He, he can run through the, through the ranks. I mean, unless you don't want to put him in danger. It's combat mobility. Yeah, I got to roll the... Turn. Oh, there we go. Oh, wrong one. Got to roll that two. Uh, <laughs> no, I got to roll higher than two. I got to. Well, I actually got to get like no, I'm higher just, than I'm that. Joking that like you're gonna yeah. get snake eyes and get can't do anything. Yeah. Oh yeah. You're right. Well, I think I need at least a four to get past because the monsters are in the way too. It's not just my guys in the way. True. Uh, two D six. Oh crap! You've broken the rules. Yeah, I did. I put H. Yeah. Yeah, I always want to type H roll. It's HQ roll for combat dice, and it's just roll for movement dice. Yeah, so you're starting, then I'm just pasting it. I'm like, all right, I'll just paste it on there, but then it's wrong. Okay, seven. He can make it in there. Okay. Um, I guess just north of the barbarian, next to the elite guy. Up at the top. Two skulls. Skulls. Ooh, that's a kill. All right, excellent. And that creates a. Uh, oh. Creates a safe space for the wizard, but uh, can't really aim at nobody because of where the safe space is. <laughs> How far can a regular chaos warrior move for turn seven? Mirror six. Maybe roll a three or a four, you can get in that upper corner. Oh, is it my turn? Yes. 
Um, I like I said, I don't know that you can. It'll let you hit anything, but it can get you in there. What is the uh, adjacent counts as any surrounding? Is that how you view it? Uh, no, adjacent is north, south, east, west. Okay. Yeah. The four diagonals are orthogonally adjacent, like whatever. <laughs> but uh, I am going to actually. I think I'm going to stay here, but you know what? I'll go up there. Can I use my free action to hand the knight a potion of strength? Yeah. I'll go up there in the nook. I'll crawl between everyone's legs. Excuse me. Watch out. You see what I mean? And crowd surf. All right. Knight in the back. Thank you. <laughs> like you're going through the movie theater. Perfect. Yeah. Spilling popcorn in people's shoes. Holding my, my batch of potions. <laughs> Trying not to drop any. Excuse me. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, right. go. All right. So and the night one is like I, I didn't miss anything, right? The end of the... Yeah, just the previews. Um, does he have any potions of strength by any chance? Nope. But he does now. Okay. I'm going to give him one, and then I have one left. Thank you. Got it. One. Each have one. Divvy up the. Lighten my burden. And so do you play it like I can do as many free actions as I want, or a free action is drink, open door, or hand or equip something. You can do you can do as many as you want. The only okay. the only question is like how much stuff can you actually pass? I think there's a one item seems reasonable. Yeah, passing one potion seems fine. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess, again, I would just do it as, oh, an uncommon feat that you pass more than one thing, maybe. That's true. Yeah. Something like that, you know, just to kind of get around. Drop them all on or the or ground. Or, or it would be the alchemist's only, like, his extra uh, special ability is that he can pass out potions because it's his job, but everybody else would be like, yeah, only one. <laughs> he can do it like He can do two, you know what I mean? Think about it. Well, I don't know about that, but I would say like he could ha hand out two, like everybody else could hand out one. Like, if he did the uncommon feat, then he could ho hand out a third one, and that he would essentially be able to cover the whole party. Well, yeah. They make a point. Yeah, of, deal them out. Yeah, they make a point of saying in Rise of the Dreadmoon that you can drink as many potions on your turn as you want. Oh. Just don't uh, don't get into your chariot afterwards. Give the keys to the <laughs> give the reins to your friend. Is there ever a reference to how many items you could equip in a single turn, or it's just always? They never clarify it. Um, never clarify it. The you way, assume just one. One easier way to think about it is just like whatever you have at the end of your turn is what you have at the beginning of the next turn. So if you're worried about like switching between the shield and something else, you know. But most most of the time it doesn't matter. It's just it's just the shield, the battle axe, and the staff that you have to worry about interacting. Right. Well, I guess I've introduced a few two-handed weapons, but yeah, like the Barbarian doesn't have a shield, so he's never really wondering about, well, can I use this, or do I have to put it away, or... Actually, he does have a shield, but it's stowed. He does, he does, yeah, he has a shield and a flail, in case he wants to put the, put Molly down for a second. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't you put Molly down for a second. All right. Okay, so uh, he did his turn. So after count, back to Jacer for the elf. The elf, the elf he's going to go for the... Uh, he's going to go for the injured... Or, yeah, the injured Famir. One. Ooh, got, got him. him. OK. 
kind of remind me of a cross between the Xenomorph and the Skeksis from Dark Crystal. Or just a Cyclops. Skeksis! <laughs> yeah. It's pretty good. <laughs> you see the remake of that? I mean, that is no. terrifying to children, some of that stuff. They made some new episodes on Netflix. Uh, I said, wow. I, is, oh, I man, my daughter's screaming. Yeah. She was so scared, she, would, couldn't, she would, couldn't even watch it. I know. I said, gosh, for Muppets, I mean, if geez. Don't, if you don't eat your vegetables, guess who's coming to get you? No. Exactly. <laughs> You're mean. And the elf is just going to take uh, one step out the door there. As out a kid, of sight, out of mind. You like to be scared, but as the parents, you're like, why did I let my kid watch that? <laughs> now they're knocking on my door in the middle of the night. Come on. Well, the, the one episode that punished the Skeksis, they put a rib cage on his head and put a scorpion in it to take his eye out. Oh, dang. And I said, that's pretty brutal for a child to see something like yeah. that, you know? Like, that's Nick Cage, uh, Wicker Man level of... Yeah, it's one thing they're horrific looking, you know, but this is this that was pretty violence, bold. Violence against Muppets. Well, the original was pretty pretty hardcore too, but I don't know, going going to the theater to see a movie like that was a big deal and it's like, you know, your parents are right there. It's like uh Yeah, it was one thing it's like, oh, that you know, oh they they drained all the life out of all of them versus you know, what I mean, it wasn't it didn't seem so brutal and they fought each other. I, I don't. I don't remember the first one being so brutal. It's it. It's. I mean, they were being grotesque. hunted down, yeah. and yeah. yeah I mean, so. I mean, the Skeksis were kind of comical, but they were also kind of threatening too, like big vultures. All right. Well, anyway, yeah. Dark Crystal. Maybe preview it first before you show it to your little kids. <laughs> uh, Jim Henson. All right. Okay. So where were we? The knight, I think, is going to move down one and attack the Chaos Warrior. All right. One knight to another. Two skulls. Two skulls. Ooh, two hits. Two hits. All right. And he stands there and says, your turn to swing, sir. <laughs> yep. Right. Yeah, he's going to swing back. He has some sense of honor left in that bucket of his. One skull. It's the knight. All right. The knight. Ooh, three shields. What are you going to do? It's a wrestling move, but I want to decapitate him quick and clean because I don't want him to suffer. <laughs> So I'm torn. A warrior's dead. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, what wrestling move would be the, the the most honorable? Oh. Ah, let me look here. You know what? I'm gonna pick him up and tombstone pile drive him all the way over there in that other ice tunnel so he can be buried with his uh the goblin friend from the other side <laughs> yeah i was gonna say none of these are particularly honorable maybe the perfect plex but yeah okay so yeah so i'm gonna tombstone him over there and then i'll, I'll, I'll cover him up and then i'll stand there and then uh paul bear will will run out of some corner One, bless him and then disappear again or the spirit of Paul Bear. <laughs> yeah. I need to get some like blue lighting like <laughs> Yeah. Okay, see 
Got him. Secret in him, dark crystal. All dogs go to heaven. Bambi, Goonies, never any story. Kids can handle it. Yeah. There was something about... Uh, red, where like, the red fern grows, my oh, kids yeah. bawled their eyes out. So movies that made And then they were a little mad at me. Yeah, they, they, they make you scared or they make you cry. and But you could tell your friends, you know, like, yeah, I was brave. I watched it. You know, not, don't tell them I was up half the night in my mom and dad's room. <laughs> yeah. Kids can handle it. Uh, you get to draw a card. Yes, I do. All right, back to you, Barbarian. Search for traps. All right, you search for traps, and no traps detected. Uh, he moves one space to the left towards the door. It's just a jump. Well, towards the wall. Just... The rogue searches for secret doors. Okay, no secret doors. All right, alchemist. I must search for the perfect potion. Treasure. All right. Search for treasure. Potion of defense. So two extra combat dice next time you defend. Yeah, it's not a potion of strength. I got to I got to go right now. I got to take a phone call. Um okay. you can just move all my guys towards the stairwell. Oh, okay. All right, thanks, Jacer. If you're not back, uh, have a good night. God willing, we will all meet back here in Hero Quest 2, the search for more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, yogurt. I mean, Fubar. Okay, so that was just making sure uh, to push in defense. The alchemist. Okay, so he wanted to move all of his... Uh, do you mind rolling for him? Yeah, no problem. Yeah, so the barbarian is going to be... what? Or no, we don't have to roll because... Ah, yeah, Not sorry. Other, no, I was no. going to let you do something. Okay, uh, so... They are going to have to jump over a pit to get out of that room. So he moves... Um, one, What does the whole map look three, like? Four. Did we check all the rooms and whatnot? Oh, yeah. Okay. So you came up the stairs. And as far as rooms go, you have not explored everywhere because this uh, this room with the bottomless chasm has a door on the other side. That's right. We couldn't get across that last week, right? There, we needed the whip or some other spell. or Yeah, you probably needed some gimmick, some good gimmick to get across, but nobody was willing to risk it except for the, the one... Uh, Halberdier, who unfortunately went tumbling to his doom. So hey, to get back to the step, Ribby. you'd have to roll. Let me know which characters I have to roll for and stuff, and I'll put them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so welcome, Ribby. Um, yeah, I showed him your uh, your plastic uh, identifier tray things for the, whatever you call them, the rims for the mercenaries. Um, okay, let me get the camera back second here yeah jacer had to take a phone call ribby you want to take a hero because we've got we've got spots open we got count cogpox controlling 
uh, the wizard here and then the rest of the heroes. Jacer had to take a phone call, so he'll be back. Okay, so um, does that answer your question, or did you need to? No, oh, yeah, yeah, that that was further that's explanation. All. That's basically it. Yeah, if we want to head back, oh, sure. so the main point of this quest is to get the key. One right? minute. Say that again. We're just trying to get the key for this quest. Is well, you big... you've got the key. Yeah. So when you're done exploring, you can just go back to the stairs, and face the frozen horror in the central room on the previous quest. So to actually get to the get to the stairs, you're gonna have to go th across that ice, through that ice tunnel which leads over here to the secret door boom so unless you're going to brave the uh, the bottomless pit to explore this room here ah so Ribby may be joining us excellent how would you cross that pit do you have to do the 50 well, feet roll or yeah you just be jumping it like you normally would now if you have a potion of air walk, you can just like float right over it. Which so it counts. It's just a bunch of pit traps across the room. Well, it, whichever it's just jump, just like a regular pit trap. But if you fall in it, is the damage like a regular pit trap, or is it to your? No, device? you're dead. It's yeah, let's go to the steps. It's really deep. <laughs> I mean, if you have a potion of air walk, you can float over it. Uh, I do not. One of the heroes, so the elf has a potion of air walk. Yes, but he would be alone, wouldn't he? Yeah. I guess you could, you could, uh, and then the potion of air walk, how do you get back once you're over there? Well, he just has the one. I'm trying to see if anybody else has <laughs> one. Because I think you guys did have another one, but it was used for something else, so. Yeah, you need one to get over, one to get back, or a pass through rock so that you could get right. out of it. And the elf doesn't have any of his spells left. He had elf spells, right? He has a heal body left. And he has shellac and mortar, which is like rock skin, and fire lance, which is like uh, fire wrath. But he doesn't have his pass through rock anymore. It's used up. No problem, Ribby. Yeah, I'd say we tried it head for the steps okay it's probably best all right so for the barbarian he's gonna have to jump that pit trap down there so go ahead roll your one white yeah roll your one combat die oh let me put that back on the screen Okay, so you fell in. Clunk. That ends his turn. So the Barbarian lost one body point. Down to five. Are there any rules on climbing out of the pit trap? Like he's in there. You just you just climb out on the next turn. It's no big deal. Can you search them for treasure like a room? Yes. Yes, you can. And it's even funny, funnier if you get a... a a pit hazard while you're in there because it's like <laughs> ah ah <laughs> fell down even <laughs> yeah it broke through to a new tier of pit yep yep so yes all those things are true how are you guys doing hey Good. welcome thank you yep Ribby is here. Put your... Hello, hello. I'm how back your, again. How was your trip to Yellowstone? Man, uh, really awesome. Uh, busy. Yellowstone is... There's so many people there. It's insane. Good. But uh, go gorgeous park. I mean, just incredible. Oh, I bet. Good, uh, good opportunity to let off some steam. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's show myself out. <laughs> <laughs> is that a geyser slash <laughs> basin <Yeah>. joke? <laughs> yeah. Well, I I'm sure it was amazing. I've never been there, so. Yeah, yeah. Oh, if you ever get the chance, definitely. Nice. And actually, uh, south of that too, the Teton Park too is uh, in uh, just uh, just the visual is incredible. Oh, I bet. 
Uh, Fubar wants to know if you harassed any buffalo. No, no. Uh, actually, uh, a day before we got into the park, a woman got gored uh, by oh. by a bison, but uh, I think she's okay. Well, it's in you critical condition, a... but yeah, gored. <laughs> alive. Those things are scary. Like, yeah, yeah. I got lots of pictures of them. I mean, we were about you know fifty to a hundred yards away, minimum. Yeah. But uh, those are some big animals. So, I've had bison burgers. <laughs> pretty, pretty good. Yeah. That it is. Yeah. It's like, it's like, come and get it. <laughs> like, I'll, 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 I'll be fine over here. I'll go to the store and get it. <laughs> yeah, gotta be a real man and get on a horse and stab it with a spear. No, I'm not a real man then. Yeah. <laughs> the buffalo realm. Yeah, I when I was a kid, I would always read those stories about oh the buffalo, they're gonna be extinct. And I was like, oh man. So when I heard they were coming mm -hmm. back, I'm like, oh sweet. Oh, there's definitely a lot of them out there. Buffalo ain't no joke, says Fubar. <laughs> it baffles me the number of people that try to take selfies. <laughs> well, they think they're yeah. like, oh, yeah. like, oh, it's just a big cow. It's like, no, it's a buffalo. No, this is a wild animal, and it's very powerful. Yep. Don't mess with mating season. Well, yeah, it's like their horns don't look like they're that big, but I mean, you see that big head on them and that, all that muscle? It's like. Yeah, and they weigh 2,000 pounds and can yeah. run like 35 miles an hour. Jump that's you know, that's no joke. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Okay. They so... ram your car for fun. Ah. <laughs> okay, so, so Ribby, uh, now that Ribby is here and Jacer's back, so um, do we want to divide up the heroes a little bit here? Yes, who would you like to take? There's a barbarian, I, I, an elf, and a rogue. <laughs> uh, the rogue's down to one hit point? Yep. I'll take him. Screw it. Okay. I think he has a potion still. Alright, so we're good. Yeah, if you need a quick rundown. So he's got a long sword with him. Okay. And, uh, let's see. Make some notes. So it's def his potion of five. What's his potion? A healing. So he's got a uh, potion of battle, magic resistance, all, and then magic resistance damage two of those. A healing plus two. A potion of restoration, so that would be one body point. Mind point. Wolf spain, potion of strength, fire resistance. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So a lot of those won't help him but i mean the plus two the res restore would, would help yeah okay him. yeah cool yep the battle potion for your attackers cannot be for your defense too just attack you just re okay. re roll your attack and accept the uh results in the second outcome okay what is your favorite uh, hero jace if you were just playing one uh the knight and the dwarf, it's a toss-up, so right now my knight really is a dwarf. You just don't know that, because he's a tall one. And he's <laughs> in armor. Yeah. His mother's died. And, and he uses a toolkit so that everybody thinks that he's just a regular person. Ah, cool. <laughs> need to blend in. Yeah, well, the Guardian Knights, we know that, uh, according to the new HeroQuest lore, they're a quite, quite a diverse group. Um, they had some dwarfs in there, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. There's, there's orcs. In the video, orcs, yeah. There's uh, men, women, uh, there's a blind guy, <laughs> you know, every every type of facial hair you can imagine, you know, every haircut. <laughs> so it's like, and see, I was, <laughs> Never I was do. they were going to just start releasing like variety packs of them, but I guess yeah. it's probably just more just saying, hey, like anybody, <laughs> you know, just use your I think it's kind of cool. I like there's or they made orcs more, hey, some are good. Telephoto yeah, lens. Oh cool. yeah, for the buffalo, for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. If they ever do do the cleric here, I would. I hope it's a dwarf. <laughs> I would like that. That'd be nice. Yeah, he's already close to the ground, so he's very humble. Yep. All right. Okay, so um, got Ribby as the rogue. Do you want to take anybody else besides that? Or is that good? Uh, I'm fine with that. That's good enough. So Jacer's got three. Nice. Okay. That works. 
And we, we are going to wrap at 10, so we've got uh, 41 minutes, just letting you know. Barbarian fell in the pit, so now yep. it's the crossbowman's turn? Yes, now the crossbowman is back up off the ice. He's a little All sore, right. but none the worse for wear otherwise. Making his way back. Sorry, I had your barbarian fall on the ice while you were gone, Jace. Well, after he gets out of the pit, then he's got to make his way across. Oh, right. Ice. Sorry. Yes, yeah. he fell in the pit. The, ice oh, the, bar the barbarian's fine about the ice. He's got snowshoes. That's true. Uh, but then he's got another pit that he's got to get across on the other side. Okay. All right. So where's the uh, where's the uh, uh, crossbowman going? He's gonna continue towards the stair the stairs. All right. All right. Is he jumping over the ice or is he just walking right onto it like a like a, a lad? <laughs> uh, he's just gonna he's just gonna march. Okay. All right. Roll your he's one cap and he's... skull. Okay. Safe. All right, into the tunnel. Four, five. Whoa. Made it. All right. And then that uh, puts us to the rogue. Yep. So, Ribby, uh, well, these guys were telling me that actually what I should have done is asked you to print out, like, five of these so that, like, the hero has the color and they all match rather than saying, oh, yeah, this barbarian has the red. But these are pretty awesome. <laughs> Thank you for mm -hmm. sending these to me. Yeah, sure. But they look good. Yeah. How much would you charge for a set of them? Oh God, I have no idea. <laughs> they take almost no plastic and no time to print. So. Hey, do you? It's mostly yeah, just but you, shipping. But it would still be shipping. Yeah, even if you stuck it in a padded envelope, they still charge you like eight bucks. I think it was five bucks maybe to ship it to Kurgan. Yeah. Something like okay. that. Okay. So Ribby, uh, Plus, uh, I mean, this is this is your creation, but would you be cool yep. if if I? took these with me to Gen Con and showed them to like Chris Nato and those guys. Absolutely. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. It's not a bad idea. Cause I you mean. were saying like if they made these out of bendy plastic, I mean, it could be like an official, if I had some kind of flexi plastic or, I mean, I could, I could, I'm sure I could buy some, uh, Variety. that's a little more stretchy. Yeah. Or, um, try to make, I could inverse the whole, um, model and make a mold. And try to do like uh, uh, silicone, um, like a silicone mold of some kind. So oh, like stretch, the key protector know? or the key coders that go yeah, around the exactly. top of the key. Ooh, and, and I like, like that. that. You kind of for the old ones. And you could stretch that over the the models there, and um, yeah. that'd be really cool. I like so, the silicone idea because I paint. I like to paint my models and I, even the base and stuff. Yeah, sure. um, that seems easier. So yeah. Fubar just, uh, I think, coined the name Ribby's Rims. <laughs> <laughs> Ribby's Rims. Ribby's Remarkable Rims. <laughs> Love oh some alliteration. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. I haven't even thought about it, to be honest. I'll, I'll, I'll think about that. I mean, the kind um, of things that people come up with, like the little brackets to hold up your Sargon screens so it doesn't fall over. I mean, and then these. I, I got brackets. one of those that non printable too. Yeah. I have those from Romingo on Etsy. Yeah, somebody stole my design and started selling it on Etsy. I'm not oh. too happy about that. Oh, no, I hope I didn't support that guy. <laughs> I bet you did. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It doesn't matter. I, I The guy on Etsy, literally, uh, he stole my pictures off of Thingiverse, too. It's it's literally my you can see my stuff from my bedroom, and his pictures. I'm like, okay. Well, that's not cool. cool. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. Yeah, but whatever. Uh, he thought of it first. I should have done it. Oh well. Yeah. We'll do it. Well, because either you sell it and then the guy steals it by giving it away for free, or you gave it away for free and then he sells it and makes money off of it. So it's like yes. Way. So like, yep. why did you have to be a jerk about it? Yeah. Why don't you just so ask me? I probably, probably would have said yes. Yeah. Ten bucks to. <laughs> Send it over. Yeah. Just give me some credit, maybe, and I probably would have said, "Yeah, go ahead, sell all you want." Shout out. <clears throat> all right. Um, I have to roll. Yeah. Is uh, it the no rogue's turn? No monsters on the board, so you can move your full movement of uh, twelve. Uh, if you want to. Uh, okay. Let, let me try and get a lay of the land here. Yeah. 
So there's We're moving the through that kind of central corridor area and then up. Is that what we're doing? Yep. The only way back oh. steps, I think. Yeah, and if you're watching, the video on Discord is, is should be instantaneous as opposed to... The yeah, I'm watching them both. Um, what do I get, a full 12? Yep. Bubar says, as my mom often said, this is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yes. a lot of moms said that, and uh, yeah, that's just how it is. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that the pit traps right outside the door? Well, there's one that the barbarian is is in. So oh, you so I, either way, I gotta jump, huh? Yep, you gotta jump that one, and then there's there's one on the other side of the door. So there's two. Okay, Which and you I can jump as many as you of... want on your turn. So, sure, I just, I just don't have any... Well, I only have one hit point. <laughs> uh, you well, I get, you I get the potions, though. Okay, I guess we're going to have to jump it, right? I got no choice. Yep. Alright, let's uh, let's jump that first one. Roll your one die, and if you get a skull, you fell in. No! Oh, come on, you designed the thing. <laughs> I should have cheated myself. Crunch. Yes, developer mode. Okay, so you're dead. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. thanks for joining us. Uh, do we have a very first turn? <laughs> didn't go too well. <laughs> well, you've got um, a potion. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll eat the. Um, which one? The. Which one makes more sense to use? Uh, you could either use the. Yeah, the one that. Healing gives you plus two or resto. Yeah. Probably the plus two. Sure, we'll go with that. I think there's but one more. Have a minimum. Jump. <laughs> they use the minimum ones first. That ends my turn too, yeah. Uh, Fubar just redeemed some potions. I think he's... Oh, there we oh. go. <laughs> Thank you, Fubar. Like, when things go Fubar, then Fubar Jr. jumps in. Mm -hmm. All right. Pound of drinks on Fubar Jr. Thank you. Drink up, Ribby. Okay, so Potion of Charm for hiring those mercenaries. Getting a discount. That's the first one. Second one... Get thirsty. Potion of Battle Rage. This is for the Barbarian. That's a good one. And a third. Potion of Skill. Well, it's, there's no dwarf in the party, so I'm going to redraw that one. Potion of Strength. Nobody got healing. Darn. Well, he tried. What's Pit Trap? One Which or one two? Which one did the Barbarian get? Uh, he got the Potion of Battle Rage. That's where you gave two attacks per turn until you can't see monsters anymore. Okay, that's a good one. Alright. So Battle Rage. Who gets the uh, Potion of Strength? That's the plus two for one attack. Uh, who doesn't have one of those now? I have one and the Knight has one. I have a battle, but not the strength. strength. Alright, give it to the rogue. No, the rogue does have a strength. Does he? Okay, yep, I didn't write him. that down. Okay. That's the okay, barbarian. Yeah. Rogue, wizard. Yeah, the barbarian oh, yeah, yeah. doesn't have one. Okay, so he gets. The barbarian gets strength. And who gets the potion of charm for. You can hire... Or meant for the rogue, he says, except for... The rogue should have two Thank potions you. of strength. The rogue can trade for a better potion. All were meant for rogue. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's because that one was an exclusive. Okay, so the potion of charm goes to the rogue. That'll be useful in the next quest. So when you hire men at arms, you'll be able to hire up to three for 25 gold, less than normal for each. What's the limit of how many we can hire? Just one per character we have? or? Uh, well, it's supposed to be you can hire as many as you can afford, I think. But there's only... I'm taking it as there's 12 miniatures at a time. So the most you could possibly ever command is a little mini. At a time would be 12, yeah. Opposed to the new expansion is four is the max, right? And yeah, Dreadmoor. but that's because those it's those four. But yeah, Tadra. 
Yeah. I wish they had names or something. Well, you can give them names if you want. Oh, sure. But they make it in lore sound like they're specific people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they get killed and you hire new ones, so... You know, oh, that's true. Robert Paulson, it's Paul Robertson. It's more like, yeah, some kind of <laughs> spy master with elite troops he's sending in or something. Yeah. They can divvy up as needed. Yes, yes. Okay. I get it, Fubar. Okay, so we're cool on the potions then? Yeah, get, make sure the rogue has I think so. Okay, so the rogue is in the pit with the barbarian. <laughs> we got a deck of cards or something, maybe a candle. Okay, next, uh, El or no, Alchemist, sorry. I feel like with both of them in that pit, I should just be able to like walk on their shoulders across the it might be it might across be the pit. Wide. Uh, yeah, I'm ready to roll here and get to see what I get. It just they just went through those monsters like a hot knife through butter, but then they were felled by a. No, oh, no, no, no! Wait, there's no monsters, right? Oh yeah, you get your full movement. Sorry. <laughs> Good, because <laughs> that was a two. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Did I roll for treasure in this room yet? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So roll they didn't your. Move on this turn? Hmm. Yeah. Roll your one white. Die to see if you make the jump. Okay, you made it. Woohoo! All right. But then, what about the ice? Now you got to roll for the ice. <sighs> now you want to not get a white shield. Yeah, remembering all those is, is a lot of fun. Okay, so you're fine. Aha! All right, you want to keep going? Yes. Um, well, what's my maximum movement? 12? 12, yeah. Um, okay, yeah. Yeah, you can you can make it out of there. Um, okay, so you want to head towards the uh, towards the upper ice. So, okay, roll, roll your one white die again. Oh, fell down. Oh. Mm. Okay. So you lose a lose a turn. Carl Keats, you white bad audio. Get that music going again. Okay. So he has fallen on the ice. Elf. Jason, are you uh, can you hear us? Yeah, I just, I just unmuted. Um, he's going to move his six spaces. Two. He's going to have to do everything that everybody else just did. Okay, roll your one for the jump in the pit. Oh, hold on. Uh, Discord. Pit is full. Come on, one more, one more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, knight. So he lost the body point. Yep. Uh, the knight is the knight is not falling in a pit. He is Indiana Jones and his ass over that thing with the whip. Da, 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 da. Okay. So. <laughs> you chose poorly. <laughs> All right, go it's ahead. And party roll. in that pit. Roll as long as you don't get a black shield, you should be okay. Watch him get a black shield. Oh, okay. Whew. All right. <laughs> da, 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 da. Okay, now now roll again for the ice. Can't guarantee this. No. 
Oh, no, you're good. Hey, you're good. good. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Here's one more thing of ice, right? Yeah. Do you fall on top of the wizard or keep on going? I fell on top of the wizard. I tripped over the wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Shiny cape. Punk. When you fall, you're supposed to go fetal. Stop thrashing around. <laughs> like a turtle. Yeah. Does every everything everyone else did but backward and then he has <laughs> awkward make out fish. <laughs> hey now, look at those slash fiction uh, writers <laughs> out of retirement to ruin Hero Quest. Like they ruined Hero everything. Hero Quest else. fanfic. I'm sure, it's yeah. already been done. Don't look for it. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> we know what's good for you. Okay. Uh, all right. <laughs> So I guess it's monster's turn. Let me just draw a card. Okay, back to the barbarian. Okay. He climbs out of the pit and onto the ice. Okay, but he's safe and sound. Right. The snowshoes of speed. <laughs> Okay, but he's got and, another uh, Yeah, but you got to jump. He got a skull, so he fell in it. Uh, so from one pit to the other. <laughs> okay, so he should Which be down to four. Pretty sure. comical. See, and this is where, like, all the people that are like, oh, rolling to move is so boring. Like, it's like, well, you just run smack into the traps. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, all right. So, Rogue. Great. We're climbing out and moving. All right. All right. Roll for the ice. Safe. Safe. Roll again for the ice. No. Well, into the pile. Clunk. <laughs> it's a classic statement. Debbie Reynolds did everything Gene Autry did, but backwards and in heels. Basically saying she's more talented than him. <laughs> Could have been. Could have been. Yep. Okay. After that exciting uh, spill. Uh, what's the alchemist gonna do? Uh, so I can get up now and walk out. That's yep. the premise. I'll take my maximum movement to the steps and then dodge whatever traps I have to. Under. All right. So you worm your way out of the pile and uh, roll your one die. One white. All right. Oh. And all then I that the well. It's like you guys got all the good rolls out of your system, and now it's just bad roll after bad roll. Yeah. Let me let me fix that bot real quick. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's cheating. Does that one body point when you fall in the pit trap? Yep. Yes. Okay, so the Wiz needs to uh, bring himself back with something. Wait, I thought I had two body points. Yeah. You did. You lost one in the one pit, and you just lost the second one in that second pit with the bar. That's two pits. Oh, the ice, you mean? I didn't hit the other pit. I just hit the ice. I thought the ice, you just fall. Oh, no. I was you rolling did. for the pit. The pit is on the other side, of, is where the barbarian is, on the other side of that door. There's two pit traps. Sorry, it was kind of hard. Right, but I made it. I made it over the first pit. I, I fell on the ice. Is where I fell. And yeah, but fell oh. if you got out of the ice, then you tried to jump the pit and you fell in. Right, but does the ice hurt you? No, the ice doesn't hurt you. So I should be at one now because I only fell in one pit trap. Oh, I fell on the ice and I subtracted in the pit. It. Whoops. Okay, sorry. So I the, the first pit I made it over. Okay, I subtracted. And then I and then I rolled and fell on the ice. Yeah, I subtracted it from when you fell on the ice. Thank you. Okay. So you're at one. 
Yeah, it's like he landed really hard on the the knight sword. Yeah, landed on his keys. Hate it when that happens. <laughs> the ice key. I'm just hearing Austin Powers. Oh, I fell over. Oh, I fell over again. Mr. Powers. Yeah. Okay. All right. So he doesn't doesn't have to worry about death save because he's uh, still alive, old friend. Okay, but he is in the pit. So now the elf. The elf. Gons Grimm's here. Welcome. Sorry, I didn't see you earlier. Huh? These guys are falling into pits like nobody's business and slipping on ice. Okay, he is going to cast Heal Body on himself. Ah, okay. And then attempt to jump the pit. <laughs> Up to five. Last of his earth skills are expended. Oh. Benny Hill music playing as we're all trying to run, <laughs> run out of the dungeon. Oh. Okay, so down to four. Yep, but he didn't die because he killed himself first. Sargon didn't have the satisfaction. <laughs> so he's sick. Yeah, he didn't get to see that white tunnel that he has to fight. <laughs> um, Alright, so now we have... All right, so now the knight stands up, and he's going to attempt to Indiana Jones over the other one, and he succeeds. Uh, da -da -da. Who's laying down on the ice over there? Oh, that's the rogue. Can I attempt to whip the rogue and pull him across to me with an uncommon feat? I don't think I have much more use with the whip, but I think it'd be pretty cool. Okay, but if you fail, he's going to fall into the pit. I'm well, probably going to fall if yet. Uh, you know what? I, I won't do it because it. Um, Big fire lizard. Unless, for uh, That's bonus potion for hero. Excellent. Hmm. I, I can't. I won't do it then because Ruby's controlling the. the oh, he, the he did it twice. Sorry, there was a delay there. I got them both. Okay. Sorry, we can get those both for the wizard. Okay, so potion of warmth and an elixir of life. This is a different elixir. This is the kind that gives you one body point per turn for five turns. What? Yep. Oh. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thanks, big lizard, big fire lizard. Thank you. Love some potions. Trade, you see. What was the potion of warmth? So that gives you one body point back, but if it's from cold damage, you get two back. So that'd be like from icy rivers or icy spells. Any other time, it's just one body point restored. And what's the other one? The uh... So, yeah, this is a custom card. So it's the Elixir of Life. Bright red potion glows with magical energy. Any hero who drinks, it regenerates one body point each turn for the next five turns. It cannot raise the hero's body points above his starting number. Get it so you don't get all the healing at once. It just kind of like pulses and heals you. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh, nice. Perfect potion draw. That's really nice. Oh, yes. Okay, so you're not going to try to whip him, uh, whip him across. No. All right. My turn? Or is the mercenary going to do anything? Oh, yeah. Oh, he should have went at me. Yeah. I keep forgetting. 
the knight so con uh, used to controlling the mercenaries, I forget about the barbarian controlling the crossbowmen. Yeah. Well, and if we were sitting at the table, it'd be easier because, you know, we'd always be queued in. Um, keep moving them towards the stairs. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six. So he's in the he's in the green room with the staircase now. Okay. Which leads back to quest nine. And the monsters don't all come back. Just <laughs> the ones you killed are still gone. Okay. All right. Now I get to draw my card. All right, Barbarian. You're down at the bottom of the pit there. Uh, he's going to go to... Uh, he's going to head to the stairs. <laughs> Umar says, my 4.8 thousand gold says monsters can come back. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can always redeem those. Okay. So, I got okay. a question. Yeah. If, if the knight was using the whip to cross the chasm, and he did happen to roll that black skull, if he had the uh, airwalk potion, would he be able to drink it before falling? Sure. It doesn't say that, but I mean, I I kind of like that, so I would I would have allowed it. Yeah. Big Fire Lizard right. redeemed a bonus mercenary. Okay. What kind of mercenary and who gets them? Or if you don't have a preference, I guess. Who wants a mercenary? <laughs> like, who's it for and what type? We got the halberdier, crossbowman, swordsman, or scout. Oh, I didn't. It didn't pop up for me. The kind that can help people up off ice, to be honest. I don't know what kinds there are. I just thought it'd be useful for this battle. Well, it'd be an uncommon feat to, like, pull them up. But yeah, a scout has a lot of movement, not a lot of attack. But they can detect traps and disarm traps like a dwarf can. The halberdier has diagonal attacks. Crossbowman, of course, has crossbow. The uh, swordsman has a big attack, strong defense, but doesn't have very much movement. Sherpa. Like one with a walker. <laughs> St. <Saint> Bernard. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Ribby says, I had my Rise of the Dread Moon waiting for me when I got home. I still need to open. Uh, you going to do an unboxing? No, probably not. I'll just open it. Yeah, everybody's already <laughs> just, seen it. Just, if just you watch, tear it open. If you watch, so Frank did his. He beat me to it. And he did all these fancy effects. And I did mine with spoilers and the shaky camera. And then Amalgamash did his where, I swear, if you listen to it, he turns the bass up. He knows he knows his audience ASMR because it's like he's like, "Welcome, brave adventurers." It's I'm like welcome. reverberating, and he slams the, <laughs> he slams the box on the table. It's like, boom. boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Maybe he's just really strong. <laughs> well, I saw yours, Kurgan, and I uh, also saw someone who did the wrote. The, they had the, the lazy Susan. Oh, nice. Yeah, um, yeah. Frank, you know where they're Frank spitting the models? Was that it? Yeah. Smoke coming up when the yes. So it's like, yeah, I mean, I look at unboxings just to see what's in the box. But, yeah, yeah I, I like the little touches people put into their own thing. Well, I like you went through and read everything, and we talked. The rules were discussed and yeah. Yeah. all of that business. So, but what I, I would, spoil, but I didn't everyone's spoil. covered it all already. So. I didn't spoil every single thing. Actually, I did. I right. did record a couple private videos, which is the same thing that, like, Dead Gamer did for me when the Mythic tier came out, like, while I was waiting. He just like shared a private video and it's like here's every page if you want to look at it it's like sweet well i i pre-ordered it on hasbro how long do i have to wait to get it till they till they like, get stock i guess yeah i feel like it was Game they stock. said i wasn't getting it for yeah. till august or something uh, i take back a lot of the nasty things i said about gamestop <laughs> 
Yeah. I mean, they just, they had one copy, and I went in, like, right after they opened, and I got it, and I went home. So, but yeah, I, the, I guess the good thing is, everybody's going to get their copies, There's, it's not an exclusive, there's no worries about <laughs> any of that stuff. So, yep. I had to go buy one in the store, Amazon, pre-order, never shipped, got figs cleaned up, going to base and prime them this week. Yeah, nice. people are fast, it's like... You know, I'm, I barely opened the box, and everybody, someone else has got all their stuff painted. It's like, hey, sure. Well, can you put post in uh, HeroQuest fans food bar? I would like to see. I like to see people's paintings. Yeah, if if you haven't, you definitely should. I'm sure. I really enjoy that. Yeah. To see you use fans color board. schemes, you paint in the book, or however you do it. I always like to see how people do their copy of Warhammer. A copy of Warhammer Quest. I got on eBay. Well, Ruby, big spender. That's pretty impressive. I won't ask how much you spent for it. Too much. Daddy like. Yeah, I mean, if it's a board game, I really, really, I mean, it's got to be really something special. It's like 200 is my budget. And yeah. then it's like, that's including shipping. Like, I hate to pay any more. It's like, I'll just I'll be like, you know what? I can, I can wait. I can get it some other way. That's probably the most I'll ever pay for anything. Yeah. But I mean, even <laughs> ever. then, it's like, I'd rather spend $100 or, you know, 50 bucks. Some of this stuff, yeah, you just can't get it. And you, you can bet I'm going to get some use out of it. I'm not just going to put it on the shelf. Use it as soon as I can. Although my HeroScape, I, I keep taking it with me to like family gatherings, and it's like we just never get to it. But one of these times, we're going to play it. All right. Uh, okay, so where were we? Uh, the Okay, so the crossbowman, and then... Okay, are we back to the Barbarian again? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Eight, <clears throat> Eight spaces towards the door. Two, four, five, six, seven. Into the ice. Everybody's fine. Eight. He's fine. Kubar says, sure, I won't get to painting these anytime soon. I just finished Frozen Horror. Still need to get base furniture painted, then Mage, then Moon. Plus, I made a 3D board from foam. Sweet. So I have bonus rooms to build, starting with colors. Yeah. yeah. Crafting like a maniac. Article, I like. He's got a good style down. Yeah. And with his priorities. I'm slowly painting the game system figure, or 3D prints of the classic game system figures. But I don't have any kind of like timetables just whenever I want to. Yep. Put music on, have a beer. It's a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Or I'll l listen to some other streamer while paint who's also yeah. painting at the same time. It's like having a virtual painting party. But yeah, whatever, whatever works. A lot of people, I guess, paint while they listen to my stuff. So that's fine. Ready to get you through it. Okay. Uh, I'm. We're getting close to, close to the wire here. Get distracted. Okay, the rogue gets up off the ice. Is he going to try to jump that pit? Yes. All right. I was facing out here. Yes, <laughs> jump. Uh, let me get back to the channel here. Oh, God. I thought you put it into developer mode. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay. Now Die. the rogue is at one. Took me a year to make the baseboard walls. That's what I've been doing while listening to this. Oh, cool. See, my uh, my long streams have a have a side benefit. That's how I started was watching this while I was painting and stuff. And if PSK was answering painting questions, too. Yeah, that was cool. Okay, so the Rogue. Yeah, PSK Studio, check him out. Or he changed his name. It's like MHP or something now. Okay. Well, that's the mental the mental health charity servers. That's and, right. And, oh, he has and it's, uh, it, it's, well, it's... Knucklehead. They got a 5013C 
stuff on it. So now it's a full charity. Yeah. And then they're working with Nova now. Nice. Yeah, he's done, done a lot of stuff. Got a lot of stuff done. I'm sure it's no joke with all the tax filing and or whatever you do to yeah. paperwork to get a nonprofit. Big Fire Lizard says, I was considering attempting to paint some of the models in the base system like the orcs just have some experience of doing so. Orcs are ugly, so it's okay if I made a mistake while painting them. <laughs> well, the thing is, it's pretty easy to remove that paint. Um, I mean, if you're using acrylics, it's pretty easy. Actually, I've removed spray paint, too, from the, like, the remake models, so it can be done. What do you use for your remove paint? Well, I have three different strengths of chemical. So simple green is the, the least toxic and the uh, least strong. And then the middle stuff is, it's purple. It's called uh, super clean. And then the harshest stuff is LA is totally awesome. That's yellow. So usually I just use the super clean. It, it works pretty well. Soak it for a day or two. Check it with a, an old toothbrush. Um, gloves. Safety glasses. Fubar says, I watched Gaming Geek on YouTube do them just rattle can with a Zenithal highlight. And I did Army Painter Speed Paint version 1. Never considered that. Oh, it is. Yeah. So I I have some of the fancy paints, but I only use, use those for special effects. Mostly I just use the cheap craft paints and rattle cans from Walmart. Krylon and Rust-Oleum. Krylon for the the remake style bendy plastic and then rust oleum for the other ones are okay. Like the resin or the styrene from the classic. But actually I'm not painting any of my classic figures. Some of them are already painted as you can see. That's how they came when I got them on eBay. But eventually I'm going to strip these and I'm just going to paint the uh, 3D print ones that I have instead. I'm just weird like that. I did the classic and I painted the mythic and right now I'm painting another box of hero quest and this that second box is all craft paints yep it can be done and it, nice. and it's not and there's no rattle can spray on them either because they were all done in uh, they were all done with the, Do the, the hero mecha um, airbrush primer th with a brush. So it's all brushed. Yeah, not ugly. a single spray, nothing. Everything's brushed. Ugly so it's not bad. Yeah. Well, I learn a lot from, from you guys and asking questions and seeing different things. It's like, what do I want it to look like? But having just like a couple of really good detail brushes makes all the difference I found. Those tiny eyes and things. But washes, you can do so much with washes. But anyway, this is not a painting stream. So. Uh, All right. But for ten to fifteen dollars, you can get like the um, mm -hmm. acrylic nail brushes, and they're you get like five to ten of them. You know what I mean? So it, it's a couple dollars a brush, but they usually give you an assortment. So you have the zero, the double zeros, and then you have all the way up to like five or six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should do a we should do another painting stream. It'd be fun to, to talk about it. All right, well, I think this is going to be the last round. So, okay, wait, last person. Well, it's uh, Alchemist right now. My turn, yeah. Okay, so you're coming out of the pit. And yeah. Going 12. Yep, going for the door. Still looking at Four, five, six, seven. Okay, roll one for the ice. Shield the success? I can't remember. Shield me. fell in the ice. I don't see your roll. Did you roll? In, yes. uh, yeah, in chat. I got a white shield. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, there's a delay. Okay, so you fell down. Ugh. I keep mixing it with the shield. <laughs> or the uh, pit trap. Yeah. You can't make it happen by wishing. Okay. Elf. Alright, the elf... Um, gets out, passes the potion of airwalk to the knight, and 
and continues to his next whatever is six spaces towards the rest of the heroes. Well, the elf the elf is in here though. He's he's got to go a little ways before I get there. All right. Oh, so all right. Well, oh, so he said us to roll. All right. Yeah, roll for the the ice. I mixed him up with the other guy. Yeah. Uh, ice. Oh, safe. Okay. Next ice patch. He fell. Alright. Yeah, so that passing will have to happen some other time. Alright, no problem. Night. Uh, I, I guess the knight's just going to stay there and wait for the elf. Okay. All right, we're at 10 o'clock, gentlemen. Uh, let me just say thank you to everybody who participated tonight. It's pretty cool. You know, you wait long enough. People start showing up. It's great. Uh, if only I could stay up <laughs> late. The heroes are getting bored. Yeah. Okay, so we left off. It'll be Zargon's turn yet, yet again. So we've got the wizard and the elf on the ice. All right, well, uh, I guess we'll see some of you next Saturday on HeroQuest fans. And we can see if there's anybody we want to raid. Oh, Fubar says, oh, another big, another tip, big fire lizard, take notes. You will forget what you painted. You'll need to touch up now and then. Plus, you get expansions, you have a base to reference. Good insight. Okay. And his and name is just John. Okay. Thanks for letting me hang out. This was a lot of fun seeing a full game played with other players. This is Big Fire Lizard. Well, technically, to watch a full game, you're going to have to go back and watch the last seven months of streams. But <laughs> I know what you I know what you're saying, and and thanks. Appreciate it. That I could be your first experience of a of a big game. It, playing it around the table live is is much better, of course, much faster. But this is what we do, and this is the only way some of us can play with each other. So that's what we do. All right. Anybody want to plug anything last minute here? Otherwise, we can stop the stream and go do the raid. Oh yeah, had a good time. I'm going to try to make it next week as well. Ribby's Remarkable Rims. <laughs> I don't think it's going to stick. Uh, we'll, we'll, try, no. we'll try to make it happen. Really fun to say. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Stop. All right. Talk to you guys later.